I'm okay. Um, hope you're keeping well. Oh well, this is to let you know that my my marriage is tomorrow. Yes, uh, that you're invited if you want to come. What's your cake or whatever you call yourself? It is not done. Never. It is not possible. You cannot come and hold my family responsible for the day you ha you allegedly had with my late husband. Look, see, this is my late husband's grave. Eh? That's his grave. Go and hold him responsible and leave my family listen, out of this. Listen, listen, woman. I have not come to banter words with you. Hmm. Hey. Like I told you already, your late husband gave that parcel of land to me for the money I I lent to him. You have to pay back that money if you want the land. In a situation where you cannot pay, then I am going to sell the land to reclaim my money. Never. What's your okay, okay. Never. You cannot do it. You cannot do it! Nonsense! That land belongs to my late husband. And I cannot, I will not allow you to extend your wickedness to that land. And if you still claim that my husband was indebted to you, show proof. I am the proof myself. Mm. Listen to me. I go. Listen to me, Yusha. Here in mm. Obelabo, my word is law. If you want that land, then you have to pay what your husband... Listen, I, I, I'm giving you two weeks. <laughs> you have only two weeks to open, pay. Open. Oh, I am going to show you the other side of Saudi. Let me tell you something. Mumanka. Whatever thing I decide to do, it's exactly oh, what I'm going to do. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, my man! Oh, my man! Oh, my man! You cannot do it! Nonsense! Wicked man! It's an ambulance, you're going to be a threat. Oh, so you're going to be a threat. I got a threat, I got a threat. 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 You, <laughs> I have been ruminating on what you told me. Really? You want to relocate to the star? Yes. I don't see any sense in it. <laughs> Why not? Huh? Why not? Uh, to be candid, it doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, Chuku, this is my turn. I'm from here. And I'm a builder. And by the grace of God, I'm not doing badly at all. People in the diaspora. Um, now trust me with the construction of their buildings. And it's a business opportunity that I am not going to pass up. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. And what makes you think you can compete with a man like Saudi? <laughs> As far as construction business is concerned here in Omelabo, he's more like a colossus. He's considered a lord. Uh, he's a lord. <laughs> uh, in his world, the lord of his own life. Huh? And maybe a lord of his own company. But in construction, there's no lord. I don't even see him. What I see in front of me are business opportunities. Okay, and if anyone wants to, to prove difficult and give me a hard time, I'm going to treat them like hodls in business. Simple. That man is a weird character. Even the king is afraid of him. And as a friend, if there is one thing I owe you, it's to watch your back. No man in his right frame of mind will want to compete with a character like that. And okay, Chuku, there is no businessman in his right frame of mind who would pass up a beautiful business opportunity. Because one man somewhere is said to be word. Come on now. Huh? Business in itself is word, okay, Chuku. A man survive in the jungle. And the jungle, men live by just one rule. One rule. The fittest. Survives. Eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> I must say, Chief, you are you are a true man of your word. <laughs> it surprises me that you don't know Chief by now. He never makes any promise and fails to fulfill it. <laughs> He's a true man of his word. Yeah. That's the land. 
and this site will be very, very good for our purpose. Absolutely. Hey, listen, I am so happy that one more time I have managed to deliver. That is all I do. I always deliver. And uh, there is a reason I'm giving you this particular land. Because I, I am very glad with the project you are bringing to my community. And I know that you are going to succeed. Oh, yeah, the little I am. 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 We are sheep, we are satisfied with this land. Um, I think it's the right time for us to talk about the price. No, no. The most important thing is that you are satisfied with the land. Yes, we are. And I gave you the land because I know you will be satisfied with it. Now, when it comes to the specific issue of talking price, let me tell you, I, it is not in my nature to discuss money in the open. Uh, I just learn, I ba. So, let us see. So, it wasn't a joke. What have we done to you? Can you even marry Melody? Eh? What kind of wickedness is this? I got my food, I got my food. I was like, I'm going to go. I'm not 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 Chief, who is she and why is she screaming at you? Uh, who is screaming? Young Did man. You this land belongs to my late husband. And this wicked man thinks he can have hold of it. And that was why. Just because. He said that he had a deal with my late husband. What is my business hey, with hey, my hey, deal? Hey, 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 shut up. Shut up, my friend. What is it? Listen, listen, listen to me. This land we are looking at here is my land. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, it used to oh, belong. Yeah, 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 shut up, my friend. It used to belong to your late husband, I agree. But he stopped being your late husband's land the very moment he borrowed money from me. No, what? And use this same land as collateral. The land is mine. Documented, signed and see. Listen to me. Asege. If you finally want this land back, the only way you can have it is to give me my money. Lie! My name is You can't Lie. provide the money. Lie! Hey, I'm mm. 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 not owing you. If you so desire to have your money back, go and dig up Udak and have him pay you. Over my dead body, you will not have this land. Hey, 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 you will not hey, have this land. Hey, you, you, ja, already, ja, ja, ja. You, you already about to die inside the land. No you can't do you want to fall inside the land. Oh, no. Let me tell you something. You will always say it will happen over your dead body. But let me tell you something. Even if your dead body is lying down here now, I will say your dead body with this land. Because as far as I'm concerned, this land is sold already. It's a lie. You no, 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 Always pouring alcohol for me to drink. And she doesn't drink herself. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <Not too long. laughs> mm, mm, mm. Sir, pay me for the is here? Mm -hmm. Wow. This is good. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You know, this is the kind of a lot I love to receive. <laughs> um, so should I? You know, this thing here is actually for spending. And we are really going to spend this money. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I just So I am actually thinking that... Um, as a good girl, as a good PA that you have been, why, why not go in and arrange? Um, you know, you know exactly what I'm mom. Oh, <laughs> sure, I do say. Yeah, <laughs> and let me tell you something. Because of what just happened, you are going to receive an alert, compensation alert, that will put up <laughs> a very lovely smile on this beautiful face of yours. Thank you so much. You were thank you, sir. Uh, right away, I'll just I'll do just that. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's for spending for it. Yes, sir. 
you are lucky that I was warned by my boss that I should have mingled with the women that work with me closely. It's a lucky day. Mama, good afternoon. Quit that job. Hmm? Ma? Quit and stop working for that evil man. Mama, where is this coming from and why? Do you need any other reason except I want you to? Well, Mama, you have to do better than that. Because you're being unreasonable and illogical. I am being illogical? You want us to be logical? Can you talk about logic here? When you sit there and watch things go wrong every single time. Mama, what am I supposed to do? Tell me, what am I supposed to do? He's my boss and he can do whatever he chooses to do. There is nothing I can do about it. Mama, if this is about your friend, Iyuchi, tell her to go and settle her scores with him and not me. Oh, you think this is just about that wicked man? There's an adage that says, show me your boss and I will tell you who you are. Chiamaka, people are seeing you no less than him. Quit already. I don't even know why you chose to rot away in this village. Doing that job. Why prominent and promising jobs await you in the city? Ma, you and I know why I took that job. Yes, I can't deny that the pay is good. But no. I am not quitting that job until I am sure that my siblings are out of school and they can fight for themselves. Chiamaka, Chiamaka, a stitch in time saves nine. Don't say I did not warn you. Pays well. And what is the meaning of the commotion here? Uti! Uti! Idoko, Idoko, Idoko. You know, I just went out to take a stroll. Unlike people of your caliber who do not know the importance of strolling. And I just came back here to see a madman shouting. Uh, what is the meaning of that? Why are you shouting in my house? Uti, let me just pretend I didn't hear what you said. Uti. Who said those men on my land? I was coming back and I saw some workers on my land. Construction going on, big construction. Mm. And when I confronted them, I was told that you sent them on it. Exactly. I sent them to start work on the land. Do you have a problem with that? Why would I have a problem with that? Uti, please go and stop that work now and call those goons off my land right away. What nonsense is this? Uh, you are calling it nonsense. It's right? rubbish! You know, how much do you owe me? How much? Uh, well, I know, I, yes, I know I'm owing you some money, eh? Yeah? Yeah. But that is not enough reason for you to take over my land just like that, eh? And I will pay you. Won't I pay you? Uh, okay, let me tell you something, eh? I know you will pay me. Uh -huh. uh, but, like we say in this part of the world, Abwala Kana Azan, Onye Jiji, Yagana Konye Jinani. Like it. In my case, I didn't make coaching. Even now, I could block on a cement. Hey. So, as I'm waiting for you to pay me what you owe me and you are not forthcoming, I've actually sent them. Give me those block on a cement. But if you are able to pay what you owe, you have my account number. When I receive a lot that you have paid what you owe me, I will immediately ask them to stop. Whatever expenses incurred is mine. But a situation where you are not able to pay anything, let me tell you, in the next one month, a building will be standing on that land. And that building is mine. And there is nothing you can do about it. You can't do that to me. Ah, for what now? Eh? Oh, just little money I'm owing you. His welcome has expired. If he fails to live on his own, handle him like a common criminal. Order. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
Excuse me, sorry to disturb you, but I came to remind you of your meeting with the King and the Council of Elders. The meeting was for nine and it's 20 minutes past nine already. You can see that I am very busy here. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. It's just that the King called and he said that they've been waiting. You know what, let me just tell you something. I am not just your boss. I am the Ogala Gidi of Omelabo Kingdom. I am actually that thing that is boiling in that cabinet pot. They have to wait and wait and actually wait for me until I am ready to join them. So you don't have to bother yourself about me. Listen, if he calls you again, don't even pick the call. I will join them when I want to join them. Uh, okay, sir. I'm sorry. I was just doing my job. I know, and you do your job so well. Okay, sir. Okay. Oh, so annoying. Your secretary can cut into conversations. It appears as if you're already having issues with my secretary. Oh, really? No, no, I take exceptions to that. Okay? Leave my secretary out of days. Okay? And the most important thing is that I'm not going anywhere. Forget about the meeting. I am not going anywhere until I have satisfied you in and out. <laughs> How about that? Look at okay, her. Okay, that's I'm so proud of you. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this is the highest level of insult. The one that has been going on in this kingdom for a very long time. Who does her what you think he is? That he will keep men in council. And even you, the great king of this kingdom, waiting for him. This is not done anywhere, and it cannot be tolerated in the Melabo. Hmm. Onyeze, Iche Onyabo is right. It is indeed highly disrespectful to your person and the foundation of peace and respect of this kingdom that Uti would always keep us waiting when it's meant to be the other way around. Now, the question I ask is, in which kingdom is such tolerated? My fellow elders, I think it's because our king has been lenient. Exactly. And if I should say weak to him, that is why you always take him for granted. Shut up. Billy can be shut up. And I suggest you think carefully before vomiting whatever nonsense you have in this coconut head of yours. What are you sinating? Tell me, what are you seeing at it? It's your day. I should be asking you. You understand perfectly what I am talking about. I don't understand. Gentlemen, there is no time to argue. It is high time we learned how to call a spade a spade. Uh, it's your uh, order. I may not share the view of Everatis. Oh. But I think the king has been too learned towards Saudi. That is the truth. Oh. And the truth of the matter is that our people say, a bit that does not stink is not respected. Yes. I think it's time, Onyeze, show Saudi a little example so that he cannot try this next time. And yes. who is that person who will make out the punishment for me? I ask the question how come nobody is talking? Or have you all gone dumb? Uh, sir, um, uh, what, what we are trying to say is that when we discovered that your seat was not occupied, so I told them, it's very unlike you, that something very important must have kept you, and that is why you're not here. I told them that. Thank you very much, uh, Odere. You see why I always insist that you are indeed very intelligent. Thank you very much, sir. You know what many of them don't know. Yes, like you said, I arrived late because I was taking care of something very important. But I am here now. 
That's why I kept waiting here since morning. You sure you have a word? Did you just say? I didn't say anything. I just heard you say something. Oh, yes. You're welcome. The great son of Omelabo. Like I said, I am indeed very sorry for coming late. Like I said already, it's because I was taking care of something very important. Something very important for our kingdom. It is not my intention to insult your personality, your intelligence, and your good office. I'm sorry, Yonese. It is okay, sir Oti. Like I said, you're welcome. Shall we go down to the business of the day? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Are you there now? So, <laughs> this is indeed very laughable. Is it making any sense to anybody? Oh, yes, sir. Does it make any sense to you? Sir Uti, why is it that we receive in council countless complaints against you every week? Are you serious? Okay, who are these people that are bringing all these complaints? Uti, this is not a laughing matter. <laughs> it is as serious as it gets. People are becoming wary of you. And that is not the best way to live in a kingdom such as ours. Well, she on your mind, listen to me. I don't owe you or anybody apologies for how I live my life, for how I run my business. I am a businessman, and I understand that the only way a businessman will remain in business is to safeguard his money. Once you lose your money, you are gone. It is unfortunate. We live in a kingdom where practically everybody is poor. And this man who has money and who has been helping people, people will always not show gratitude. They will always come and be talking nonsense to the king. But they forget that I am not that kind of businessman who will go into business without a proper agreement that is signed and sealed. Now, why should anybody hold me responsible for people's inability to live in line with the spirit of the agreement? But, but Saoti, do you give them time to pay back what they owe you? Of course, I give them time. But why are you the one asking me this question? Men like you, that their wives are, are fending for them, should not, they don't understand the products of business agreements. Saoti, that is an insult to my personality. Hey, you shut up there. What are you saying? I am on you. Now, let me tell you something. What I do in this town is to oversee projects of our brothers, and our sisters who live abroad, and other people who live in other cities, they rely on me to take care of things for them here. And I need money to do all these things. Now, if these people that owe me, people that refuse to pay what they collected from me, if I continue to leave them, how will I have money to take care of these businesses? How? What they are doing to me is very unfair. Does this be fair? fair? Uh, can, is anybody sitting down here who will tell me that it is fair? No, not at all. Eh? And it's not as if you just go out of your way to acquire people's properties and then just take it just like that outrightly. No, not at all. You doesn't do it. And because of the way you are talking, one good for you. Thank you, sir. Now let me just break it down. I took that Rashid woman's land because her late husband did not pay the money he owed me before his demise. Uh, wait, Saoti. Are you saying you have sold that land? Why are you the one that is asking me all these questions? Why? Is your job? Yes. Okay, let me just answer you. Even when I, I'm not supposed to be answering questions from you. Yes. I collected that land from her and I have sold it. What? You have sold the land? This is sheer wickedness. After she begged you repeatedly, that that was her only source of taking care of her family. You still went ahead to sell the land. You know, when people like you talk, readily you will see why you will remain in poverty. Somebody is begging you and you are listening. Is there a way begging can ever translate to money? It's not possible. Listen, let me tell us. What I did that is actually good for our kingdom. It is a perfect business for us. Because the business I am bringing is going to 
create a lot of job opportunities. You say? In this kingdom. Job opportunities? Yes. Can you please explain what you mean? Uh -huh. You see, very can very now you're talking. I give out that land to an assembly, you know, uh, an automobile company. They are coming here to establish an assembly plant. Now, I want you to ponder. Do you know how many employment opportunities that they are going to provide for our young ones? I knew it. I said it. I said it that Saudi, he has the interest of our people at heart. Now I have been vindicated. You see it? Yeah, the Saudi has vindicated what I said. Well, well, it's one good. One good for you to confirm. Thank you, Saudi. <laughs> uh, well, Saudi, in as much as I am in total disagreement with your actions, as regards the pattern with which you recover your debt from our people that are owing you, I must say that I am overwhelmed with joy by the fact that you are always considerate about this kingdom when it comes to development. Yes. Uh, work out for you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry, Onyezi. Onyezi, I'm sorry. I don't understand. Please, can you explain? He has already explained this thing, Ichoyima. What are you still uh, asking? Well, well, Ichoyima. Sir Oti has done well. Done well? Yes, if you ask me, I will tell you that he has been very, very benevolent in all his approaches. And as a people, we should be happy that we have a son in the caliber of Sa'uti, who is always bringing development to our people. Onyeze is talking like Onyeze indeed. Onyeze, Onyeze. Our Royal Majesty, with due respect, I disagree with this completely. Good. Because our people are suffering because of the actions of this man. We cannot be here commending him. I don't agree with that. Because hey, Yabo, let me help you. Now listen, I want to tell you this. In this life that we're living, it is very difficult for people to sing praises of you. Yes. No matter how good you are, that is just the nature of man. I, I, I don't think we should be blaming and tainting the image of an innocent like Sir Uti for the inability of people who cannot keep to their own agreements. Wise king who understands wise actions. You, you live long, my king. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, one good for you and one count for you. Yes, yeah. yeah. live long. <laughs> He's, uh... You incompetent. You incompetent idiot parading himself as a manager. And I, I want to understand what is the meaning of that useless report you sent to my email. What? That the contract has been given to someone else? What does that mean? A contract that was signed, sealed, and delivered to me. You sat back there, parading yourself as my manager, and the contract goes to someone else. And you have the temerity to send a report to say that? I don't understand this. So why am I retaining you as my employees, all of you that are working in that office? If you cannot, as little as, retain a contract, as little as retain clients, why am I paying all of you? You know what I'm advising you to do? Because you are very incompetent, you are going to resign. You are still talking. You know what? You are fired. I want you to get out of my office and get out of my life. Nonsense. Um, sir, sorry, you need to take this call. It's Ozo and he sounded urgent. Yes, sir, what is it? I hope you have something to tell me. To make my money brighter. That's after that fool has already ruined it. What? And you're calling me to tell me that? How dare you? No, are you not supposed to be kneeling down begging? You are disturbing my phone? For something I pay you to handle, you cannot handle? Do you know what? You are equally fired. Get out of my phone and get out of my office. Because if as you come to that office and you are still there, trust me, you are dead. What is wrong with all these people? What is wrong with all of them? If I am to be doing all the jobs, why then am I paying them, retaining them, paying them the kind of money I pay every month? I want to be left alone. Okay, sir. I am. 
Why are they all betraying themselves? Not me. Hilary Mbajiaka, what your father was unable to do is what you are doing now. How dare you? What makes you feel you can take any business from me in this land where I rule as the Lord? You have called for war and you will fight with your blood. Give you my word, right? Can't you make it a little earlier before the date day? I really miss you. Come on now, you know I miss you. Huh? I miss you so much. Uh, it's just that I have a lot of things that I have to handle here. Uh, but not to worry. Uh, before you know it, I'll be with you again. Make sure to do just that. You owe me too many dates already. I'll be there, darling. Come on now. You should know me. Uh, my reputation precedes me. You know that I'll be there. I do not promise and fail. You are exactly that. So make sure to be back before the day then, okay? My darling, I'll be there, okay? Um, let me run. I have a few things to, to supervise at the site. As soon as I get back home, let her leave me and I'm going to day, okay? All right, baby. Bye. It is amazing how you have managed to transform this place into such an edifice. I still remember these premises. Where there was a thatched house with just one door and one window. There was no fence at all that people were actually seeing through. For you to have finally managed to put up this kind of edifice here means you are doing so well. And I, I say kudos to you. Kudos, boy. <laughs> um, please get to the point. A man who runs your kind of schedule does not show up at his fellow man's place just to analyze his house. Get to the point. Why you Mr. Hillary Mbajeka, don't be uncomfortable for I have come in peace. Mr. KK, I am not uncomfortable. I'm just saying that you get to the point. Because you're clearly wasting my time. I'm a very busy man. Hey, hey. Point of correction. It is not Mr. Okeke. It is Sir Uti Okeke. I am a chief. A titled man in this kingdom. I am an authority in tradition and in autonomous. And you must have to address me as that. Um, Mr. Uti Okeke. If you think, <laughs> because everyone in this community gets scared at the mention of your name, that I will be scared of you. You lie. You'll be very wrong. Please, if you have nothing important to talk to me about, I suggest you get the hell out of my compound. You're wasting my time. Hmm? Okay. Very careful, here at Mbajeka of the kind of things you say before your utterances will land you in further troubles. Don't. This man, this man, what are you doing? I should be asking you that. What the hell are you doing here? Why must you abandon the city where you are doing your business? To come back here to establish? In this kingdom where I rule? Are you out of your mind? For what exactly? For you to start competing with me in this land? Do you have an idea how many clients I have lost in the last one year all because of you? Do you have an idea? Well, it is not my fault that instead of honesty and due diligence, you choose to juggle with the finances of your clients. Mr. KK, you should know at your age that you cannot eat your cake and still have hey, it. Listen, I want to give you just one advice. 
for your own good, mm. leave this town. Go back to the city where you were doing your business and remain there. Focus there because that is the only place where you can thrive. Do not think that you can compete with me in this land. Don't. Don't ever think that. I gave this same advice to your late father and he listened to me. Look at how everything has turned out good for everybody. And I'm giving you the same advice. Get the hell out of this land. Hillary and Bajaka do not, in your widest imagination, think that you can domesticate an animal that is going to swallow whatever thing you think you are and whatever thing you think you have. Don't. And who is that animal? You? Excuse me. You are very well excused to get the hell out of my compound. Listen to me. I am a son of this land, a son of the soil, and I have every right to practice my business wherever it is that I choose to practice. Do you hear me? If you feel that you are very good at what you do, then cope with the competition. Yes, that is how people, hardworking people, grow in business. I, I, am I the one you are talking I to? I am talking to the one who does not know when to stop. Demon to Wokem, let this be the last time you show up here to pull this kind of stunt. You're a builder, and I'm also a builder, and significantly, those who build can also destroy. Do you hear me? No man, not even one man, holds the monopoly of destruction. Don't let me destroy you. Get out of this place right now. For a long time, we've been acting so blind and everything falling apart. We are living in fear for a long time. For it's high time we stand and face a problem. We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up. I saw this coming. I warned you. This is exactly the situation I have been trying to avoid. Now look at it. I don't know why you're perturbed. I have this under control. You know me. You know that once I am on the side of honor, I don't look back. You know me. Perhaps you don't understand what I'm talking about. The mere fact that that man walked into this house himself. Wow. It speaks volumes, I must say. It speaks of nothing. Okay, Chuku. His presence here speaks of nothing. I gave him a dose of his own kind of medicine. Doesn't think he is. I have never seen a man so proud and arrogant. So proud and arrogant. Who is okay, okay to tell me Hillary, the son of Umbajaka, to leave Umbalaba for him? Who doesn't think he is? That man wants trouble. He wants, he wants to fight. And I will give him a very, very good fight. Are you aware he doesn't like to be addressed by that name? By what name? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that is what he is. His name is Mr. KK, an ordinary builder that has not won an award. Come on, Hilary. That's an uncouth remark. Ah. But come to think of it, that man has become a nightmare. He has bitten more than he can chew. He has become something else. He literally has everyone in this village in his pocket. <laughs> and maybe he thinks he can also pocket you. Exactly. He thinks that I'm as naive as my father. But this time, he's up against a different kind of foe. Okay, Chuhu. <laughs> I am going to break that man. <laughs> he doesn't know what's coming. Son of American Bajaka. Hmm. Brilliant. <laughs> now I'm convinced. I can see that you have now become his latest nightmare. I am. 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 Chief, Chief, my baby Chief. <laughs> oh my God, I've really. What are you doing here? Did I call you? 
Chief, you don't need to call me before I come visiting. No, 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 no. Who told you that? That they can just budge it on me anytime and anyhow you like? That's not how things go around here. I just wanted to surprise you, that's all. No, no, no. I hate surprises. I don't want anybody to surprise me. I want things to happen according to my plan. You should have talked to your friend Trishy and should have told you how things function around here. People don't just budge on me to surprise me. Nobody must take me on a ways. It must be according to my plan. It must be according to my procedure. Not anybody's ass. I'm sorry, Chief. You know, I thought it's been long we last saw each other, so I decided to check on you. But since it's not okay by you, let me just go. Maybe when you're in a better mood. And who asked you to leave? Beautiful Shesi. Are you actually living for it? Come on. I know. It is so obvious you came here for something which I have not allowed you to explore, to uh, you know, present it in a way that I should understand the actual reason you are here. Forget about my outburst. I just needed to make a statement. And now that the statement has been made, I want us to go inside for you to actually tell me why you are here. Because I am interested in knowing why. Hmm. I thought you never ask. Now let's go in while I give you a gentle massage. I need it. Let's go. I need it. Yeah, I like it. You know, you, you know, you know my bedroom number four. I know that. That is where you should be going. Room number four. Okay. Room number four. Ooh, we've been taught to shut the mouth for a long time. We be acting so blind and everything falling apart. We are living in fear for a long time. For it's high time we stand and face a problem. We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say, No fees enough. No fees enough. We need to rise. Hello, Tobias. Hello, sir. Can you hear me, sir? What, what are you talking about? Slow down. What? Sir, you need to come to Amago site immediately. Some men stormed here and they halted the, the work progress. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, I, I'll, I'll be there right away. Okay, sir. To shut the mouth for a long time. We be acting so blind and everything falling apart. We are living in fear for a long time. For it's high time we stand and face a problem. We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say, No fees and no fees and no fees and no We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say, No fees and no fees and no fees and no fees What is this? So this is it. The, the, the workers have already dispelled some of them with wounds. Who are these people? Very strange youths, armed with cutlass. And they said we have not paid our development fee. What? what, what? They said we have never paid. I cleared all the levies before we embarked on this project. What are you talking about? Where's the stupid thing? They threaten the workers if they do not leave immediately, they're going to harm them. This, this, this is unacceptable. This is totally unacceptable. If they think that I'm going to accept this, I'm going to take this line low. They, 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 they are joking. Yes, what is going on in this community? I don't understand. What is happening? I don't just understand. I don't get it. Someone need to stand up and say, No fees and no fees and no fees and no fees. We need to rise up. Listen, you are the president of the youth council of Milan. Fine. Yes. Yes. It is impossible. But they used to come together and organize that kind of attack without your consent and without your knowledge. Why did you send them? And then what is this development levy I keep hearing? 
I, I, I don't understand. Seriously, I didn't send anybody to your site. You did not? Yes, or anybody's site. I did not. If you did not, then who sent them? Well, I don't know. I swear to you. Listen, Oga Hilary. The youth of Omalabo Kingdom has not started that ridiculous practice of disturbing people's sight. Accept for money. No! It's not possible. Who else has the authority in the youth council to mobilize the youth in your absence? Who? Uh, well, in my absence, my deputy can. But honestly, I am still startled at what happened. It has never happened before. This kind of thing has, it has never happened before. I'm telling you. As in, are you sure your deputy did not send them? No, no, no. I can vouch for Matthias. He didn't send anyone. Hmm. But trust me, Oga Hilary, I will get. I say it again. I will get to the root of this. I promise. <laughs> Come on, Matthias, you have done so well. I trust you to deliver, and I am so happy you delivered. <laughs> you know what? I am at home, and I want you to come with the boys. Come with the boys much later because I have a very serious surprise for all of you. <laughs> Come on, I am a man of my word. Yes, I say I'm going to surprise you for doing something so nice, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I'll be waiting. <laughs> it is so nice to see this fool finally wallowing in confusion. You want to plunk your fingers into my eyes in this land that I have managed to circle. <laughs> you have not seen anything yet. By the time I am done with you, <laughs> you are going to develop wings and fly away. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Chief, yeah. you should have seen those boys on the run. I swear, they will never in their miserable lives come back to that place again. again. They know they yeah. I can imagine it already. I can imagine it already. Chief, you don't need to worry yourself. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> By the time those clients of his we hear the commotion we caused mm -hmm. because they refuse to settle boys. They refuse they, to pay about development. They refuse. They refuse to give us mamoke. <laughs> Chief, they will come back crawling on their knees. And I'm going to stand on their heads and crush them completely. Oh, Chief! <laughs> You know, you know, Matthias, I had always known it mm. in the deepest part of my heart that you could be trusted to deliver. And I'm so happy you delivered on this. Thank you, boss. <laughs> but honestly, boss, I'm not happy. Why? Boss, you know I can deliver very well. I just said it. Yes. Why didn't you project me for the youth presidency? Huh? <sighs> Why did you choose as a the weekly over me? Um, well, you don't need to misunderstand that. I had my reasons why I did what I did then. But now that you are saying it, I am beginning to have everything. Okay? Chief! So you calm down. Anything can be arranged. Mm -hmm. We are the people who are manipulating the politics of this land. So we can always put anybody where we want the person to be. Hey, just continue, continue to manage the office I gave you. On one point, all. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Yeah, spoken well. I and I trust you. Yeah. I know what you can do, Chief. No, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, I handle it. Thank and you. already, of course, I know. I can see the way you guys are drinking. I know that uh, you are not alcohol free. <laughs> so I am actually suspecting there is a different way you want to be compensated, and I'm not going to disappoint. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I am trying to say that uh, you can go ahead and make some cars. You know, you need some slave wheels that can calm you down. Make cars, bring them, I will pay. Chief, <laughs> Chief, I love that. 
In fact, I am calling already. Go ahead. Sorry to, to ask. Since you know all these little wings, why don't you help us out, Chief? At least I, I prefer you get for us. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you see your life? <laughs> you see your life? This is how you're going to be the youth president, right? <laughs> you know what? You know what? We already say it. I don't worry, I will do something. Amaka! Amaka, please come. Are you cool? uh, hey, uh, please, Amaka, uh, I, I want to make an unusual request. You see, this, 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 this hardworking boys of my land, they have done something very wonderful and I, I want to compensate them somehow. So I am, I am thinking you should make, make some calls, you know, I want you to bring some very wonderful girls, girls that can handle them perfectly, you know, to bring out yes. the, you know, the ecstasy in them, you know what I'm talking about, so you just make the call, you go, I, I, I trust you absolutely, I know what you can do. Uh, um, sir, uh, with all due respect, you know, calling the girls for you wouldn't be a problem. But for these boys, I don't think I know any girl that will want to be seen with them. And you can as well add yourself to the menu. Excuse me. You look very beautiful. Hey, 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 hey. Are you out of your mind? Hey, Chief, I'm so sorry. No, 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 you are sitting before me and you are watching after my second Chief. I, I just got carried away. No, 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 you be very careful before you, I carry you to your grave. Chief, you are carried away. Chief, I'm sorry, sir. Chief, what is wrong with you? Chief, sorry, sir. No, 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 you are sitting in my living room, last thing after my second Chief, 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 I'm so Chief, sorry. This is preposterous. What's your problem, no? This is insulting. Chief, I'm so sorry. You know, you, you, know, you, know, you know what? You know what? Uh, I'm okay, I'm okay, please. You, you may leave. Sorry, 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 thank sorry, sorry madam. Thank you, sir. What is your problem? What, are, are, you, are you crazy or something? Chief, sir. How then? Because we are playing? Chief, sorry. No, Chief. I'm so sorry, sir. Chief, <laughs> sorry. Hey. No, 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 don't feel that way. Don't feel that way because I know what is running through your head. Don't worry. I am going to make the calls, man. Don't worry, I can even get out to stay the wait for you, but you have to be very careful. Okay, sir. I'm very so sorry, sir. Thank you, Chief. Yeah, I, what's happening? You know, you, you, need, you need some girls, and then you are going to have some girls tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you look so excited. Are you going to tell me what this excitement is all about? What is it about? Nay, hmm. I just received a very strange call just now. What does that mean? You received a strange call and you're so excited about it. How is it possible? So Uti just called me. <laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you? How did he even get your number? How? Is that supposed to be an insult or what? Mm. What kind of insult is that? No, mm. You know I'm a big girl in this town. And only important people. I mean to have my number. <laughs> wait though. Why did he call you and why are you excited about this call? Well, it seems he has some visitors and he needs good babes like me. Hey man, this Sunday my fan alone over that. He has to to keep them company. <laughs> so you have reduced yourself to a call girl in Kiru. That is what you have reduced yourself to. <laughs> he has made an offer of 100,000 Naira each. Do you mean you are not interested? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait you mean Sir Uti <laughs> is ready to give us 100 thousand naira each bam is that what you're saying Ozubo. really my dear he has already made the promise trust awuti he will pay and so don't just relax he will pay 
Nne, how is you going to go? Can we just go and start preparing? Let's go. Let's go. There is no time. Let's go. Excuse me? Repeat what you just said to me now. As now you heard me very well. And you heard what I said the first time. So, Matthias, so you want me to believe that the reason I have been getting loss and loss of complaints is because some decisions have been put into law that I, the youth president, know nothing about? Is that what you want me to believe? As in, I will discuss this in our next youth meeting. But for now, we need to collect what we can. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. It doesn't. Ah. Yes! No, it doesn't. Why squeeze? such amount of money from our people who are trying their best to develop our community. Why? Because that's the right thing to do. Yes. See, as in there, other neighboring communities has been doing this. I'm even angry because we are slow. Stop! Don't you just stop! Stop what? Everything! Stop everything! Stop everything! Listen, whatever you think you have collected from anybody in this town, from any builder, or house developer. Just give them back return it. Return it, they have bled enough, Matthias. I'm sorry, we cannot. You can, and you will. Listen, as the president of the Youth Association of Omelebo Kingdom, I am ordering you to have your boys turn down and return whatever thing you collected from anybody. Whichever way you have collected it from these people, both indigenous and non-indigenous. This is a direct order from the president. But you there are no but, Matthias. There are no but. No, 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 no. What is this? This is pure act of wickedness. No, no, you can't continue to extort money from people who are trying to develop our community. What does this is this? Now let me tell you. Every operation that is going on on this is totally halted. I want it to stop now. Now look at this very well. With this. I refuse to discover anything, Matthias. I refuse to discover anything. Listen, return everything that you've taken from anybody. Or you force me to you force me to make a case against all of you who took that decision without the president. Elsa, I do not be ridiculous here. See, how do you want us to do it? No, how do you want us to do it? Do you know how much you are talking about? I don't care! I don't care how much you are talking about! Return them! How do you want us to start paying back, isn't there? Eh? See, don't say the things that will make the youth to gather for an emergency meeting against you and get you impeached. I don't care! Fine! Until I am impeached or voted out, I still remain the president of this association. I still remain the president! And I want you to return whatever and don't you ever try it again. Don't push me, Matthias. Don't, don't push me. Okay. Now I have a reason to get you removed. Na bamba. Na wonder this doesn't make sense now. It doesn't make sense. Ah ah. You can balance him now. Huh? You go to say we be joker. Serious joker, so. Nah, Mati. What thing we go do? Nah, what thing? Uh, nah. One another as I can question. Which one be what we go do? What we go do? I don't understand. One day there is no way we are doing what SNA wants us to do. Okay. He did there. Yeah. Eh? He did there yeah, to see what thing we do. How we take suffer? How we take nah? Eh? You know the kind of thing we we'll do for that place. We we'll make that that money. Eh? On the day we have guys we take us everywhere. You know what we also? Now we make the money finish. Now in the inspector say maybe we carry the money. Go call those people back. Carry the money, give them. Nah, eh, one the any and check any and see guys, all these ones are not my problem. See, my problem is this. How on earth do we get that money? I mean, the money we are talking about is much. Huh? We've practically spent all we made from those developers and builders. Uh, you know what? My own money finished just two days after we shared the money. Yes. Okay, uh, let's even assume we manage to get our own back. What of the one we gave to Chief? Okay. How are we going to recover it? How? One, I don't even understand this is your question. I don't understand them at all. How? Make I tell you one minute, eh? Even if say I never spend my money at all. Uh -huh. 
Even if say my papa appear come here, come on from grave, come here, tell me only catchy. Give these people their money back. One na no go do. One na this thing na pure business. Confirm business. Now this guy, what do they call himself? He's in an in group. One can't spoil for us. One na this thing na business. We chief gave us on a platter of God. One na we are supposed to be enjoying the money. No, no, no. This is where this guy they talk. I don't understand them. Nah, I want this. You know what? It be like say time don't come for that guy to smell something. Because I know get with him be his wahala. But the last thing I will do is to sit and watch this beautiful opportunity pass me by. And the Omega, you, I will keep person. Uh, uh, you know I what? I will keep person. Since we started this business, my babe and I know they quarrel over money matter again. If I tell you, uh, this is where we talk now, just remind me something. Uh -huh. Just remind me something now. Uh -huh. See, uh, make I tell you. Have I ever come to you people to complain about Angry again? No. Not true. No, I don't no, no, complain no. about Angry again. On the air, now is you are playing love and love. Money don't they? Don't, there is money. money. Don't come now. You got what you come after. <laughs> you got what you come over. Yeah. You don't understand. On the, I'm even planning of going to see her parents. Eh? You know? Uh, now to make things official now. I'll make things check and balance. So fast. And balance here. I'm telling you now. Where will I get the money to do all these things? It's from this business. From the business yes, somebody now. Knows somewhere now. See guys, eh? I can feel the spirit. Mm. The best way to show us this problem is to impeach SM Naya permanently. Mm. The best way to solve all this problem is to impeach SM Naya permanently. What? To impeach him. Impeach? Yes, go go. Is it possible? It is possible, my guy. I have never read something like that in our constitution. Emeka, that is why we are called the men behind the mask. We must plan it and it must work. Okay. Let's work on it. It will work. But yeah, you better say it doesn't make sense. No, be sad. I didn't make sense. Matthias! Hey, Nikiru! Ne, baby. How you did? I'm fine, my sister. I'm good. There is no need asking you how you're doing. You look chele goldy, more beautiful, mm. dashing. Mm. Is this any else sexy? <laughs> any other sexy? You there? Different. You look different. What is happening in your life? You've been so scarce, and the little I see you, you seem so preoccupied with something. Tell me, tell me, what can you Is there someone knocking on the door already? Nobody. Someone. Oh, not that. I just decided to get myself busy. That is all. And I was thinking that there is someone knocking on the door already. <laughs> soon, my very good friend. Very soon. And you know I will invite you. That is if someone is coming already. But for now, I've decided to look good and live my life to the fullest. Mm, my sister do. Uh -huh. We all do sometimes. Uh -huh now. Mm. My dear, I have a very important place to go. Mm -hmm. I'll come and see you at your house when mm. I'm done. Mm Why are you playing uptight with me? Drink what I have given you. After all, this shouldn't be the first time we are sharing a drink. When I personally handpicked you and made you the president of a Melabu Youth Council, we shared drinks that time. Have you forgotten? Uh, I am sorry, Chief, but it is not like that. It is not like that. Why are you giving me this impression that you are planning to swear up against a man like me? I, 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 I am not planning anything, Chief. Chief, during my inauguration as the youth president, I swore to uphold the superiority of the constitution of our town. And what I am doing, what we have set up, this wonderful structure, you are telling me that it is not good? 
Listen to me. We are talking about a structure that is already sending so many young men of this land to the bank smiling. You are sitting here now telling me that's not good? Chief, 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 you don't understand. The whole idea of another development levy after those men have spent lots to get building approval is not a valid request, Chief. It's not a valid request. If I will allow it, history will have it that it started during my reign. And I don't want that. I don't want that on my name. I don't just want that on my name. I want to understand something, this young man. You know, what are you trying to prove now? That you have suddenly become so relevant and so important? Uh, hey, hey, yes, shut up. When I single-handedly made you the president of the Omelabo Youth Council, I didn't do that because you are smart. Let me break it down, isn't it? You are not smart at all. I made you the president of the Youth Council because I wanted you to use that office to enrich yourself. So that you can break away from the poverty that is already ravaging your family. That is what I did as a good man of this land. And you are going to sit here in my living room to become logical with me? Uh, uh, Chief, it is not like that. I, 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 I just... Hey, 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 hey. Shut up. No, are you not going to sit here now to hold brief for those leashes? Who are making a lot of money from our kingdom without giving anything back? Do you know how many factories that have been set up in this land? Factories that are operating every day and they are making millions of naira. Factories set on hectares of land that they got on peanut. What did they pay? Nothing. And they are making money. And now you are telling me that this structure that we have set up for them to be paying Small money to us is that is wrong. The least they could have done is to employ the youth of Amelabo. Did they do it? Uh, but, but chief, uh, 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 any youth that are, that are ready to work as an employee, hey, you don't know anything. Employed where? Employed in cleaning? Employed in nonsense? Did they employ anybody in management where the real money is? They didn't employ anybody there. And you're sitting here now talking nonsense. Let me tell you something. What I want is for those people making money from our land to pay us just a token from the money they are making from this land. What we are demanding is not even up to what they pay as tight. Willingly. Nobody's complaining. That is the money we wanted to be paying to us so that we can make our lives better. And you sit here now to tell me that it is wrong. It's a never. Uh, chief. It is not a norm in normal law. And who defines the norm? No, are you the one that defines the norm? I'm asking you, where's the name? Do you know how many young men of our land that are planning to be married this year? Many of them. And the money for that marriage is going to come from this business that we have set up. And you are going to sit here as the president of the youth council to tell me that you are going to cancel the business and leave them unmarried? Is that how heartless you can be? Is that who you are? Uh, Chief, a real man in Omalabo that is ready to be married should not get married with stolen money. Stolen money? No, that is what you call money we are making from our land, stolen money. Look at this, Zenian. How is this, Zenian, talking like this? This is when going with a good teacher, it's not talking like this. Are you bad? You want to be remembered as a righteous man. A righteous man who, at a point in his life, held a political office. And he was very uptight. And he doesn't want to help anybody as a politician. Don't worry, Ezenia. I am going to teach you a lesson. I am going to teach you that righteousness and the politics are like two parallel lines that will never meet anywhere. Chief, Chief, I don't understand. What is the meaning of this? Uh, the meaning of that, Ezenia, is that you are a fool. What did you just say? It's surprising you don't know what happens in this kingdom where you live. Well, you know me now. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here for business. I'm here for work. I'm really not interested in all that. 
I'm not interested in all of them, but seriously, tell me you're joking. I wish I am. My cousin called me and told me about the newest what? changes. Why would you do anything like that? I don't know. But that has got people asking questions. Ah, <sighs> you know what? I'll have to call you back, okay? Right. What? Who does this now? Why would he? <laughs> Boza, 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 Bonisi. We want, we want, we want, we want, we want. Tasso, 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 Mr. Uti mm. is the real owner of Omela Abo. Oh, did you like no man? I didn't know he was that serious. I didn't know. See you guys, eh? Uh. Sir Uti, eh? Na combination of hundred strong men. Yes. I tell you. Only him na squad. I did tell you. Na I want yenda film fatili. Sir Uti is ten thousand soldiers put together. One ne Sir Uti eji la ata we no one ne. See, make I tell you, eh? You be the real president. Sure. Yes. You are around yeah. the president. Second president. <laughs> president, why? One day we we'll drink from now till tomorrow. Till tomorrow, yes. Oh, yeah. some me. See, eh? Uh, how this one they finish? I tell you, more crit than. Hey! hey! One hundred dollars. Hey! <laughs> Matayas, 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 Kageso. More than JJ, more than Nana, Matayas, Kageso, Matayas. Mother's honorably resigned his position for an order. For reasons best known to him, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh, I, I I think it's wrong. Oh yes. And also suspicious, Your Majesty. Ah, that is in I would do something like this after a few weeks of um, some criminal activities amongst the youths. Uh, Igwe. Now. Why are you insinuating right. that someone instigated him? Oh yes, that's what I think. <laughs> so who who could do that? I don't know. Your Majesty, and that is why I have come to you to help us ascertain. You know, Ezenaya is being removed because he is fighting some illegal actions by some youths of our community. Igwe, it does not add up. Being removed and resigned are two different concepts. Hmm. Does it mean you do not know? Uh, well, my king, I don't think that we should be thinking of the semantics employed. Um, what we should be talking about right now is what's staring us in the face. Someone with so much power and much to gain is catalyzing the crisis amongst the youths of our people. I have not come here to point accusing fingers at anyone as a culprit, but my gut feelings have never failed me before, Your Majesty. I've heard you, my son. Yes. And I want to make a promise right here now that I'll try my best to fish out whatever loopholes you think or believe that uh, this organization could be having. I surely will do that. Thank you, Igwe. I'll be pleased if you do. There is no point being so modest. <laughs> What's the point? If a son should make a request for a father, the least the father could do is to grant him. Absolutely. Like I promise, I'll get to the root of this matter very soon. I'll fish out the wolves from the flock. Thank you again, Your Majesty. You're welcome.
And we've been in each other's life for what, over five years now. And I love what we have. I love what we share. But I also notice that you act unsure sometimes. Why? My love. Mm -hmm. I am sorry. But you know I'm a woman. I'm only protecting what's mine. <laughs> You're protecting what's yours? From who exactly, if I may ask? Listen. Look at you. You're here with me. I'm here with you. I gave you the keys to this house, meaning that this is also your home. Do you know what it means? Do you know what that means? To have the keys to my apartment? Hmm? Babe. Yes. Are you saying that since you've left the city to the village, you won't do anything to make me angry? <laughs> If only you know how much I love you. If only you know how much you mean to me. Your thoughts will stop running wild. I love you, darling. Hmm? I love you too. Relax. I'll always be here for you. Do you have any idea of what this your singular decision is about to do in this kingdom? Rumors are making the rounds that you are the mastermind, the architect of all this. That is why I am here. And uh, are you expecting me to deny that? I have been the one planning all the progressive moves ever made in Omelaba Kingdom. And I can confirm to you authoritatively that this very one is the child of my brain. And can you tell me what is so progressive about this move? Can you? Many. Really? Yes. Number one is that it is going to force our young ones to quit the life of hooligans. They will do less of being hoodlums. They will quit the life of arm robbery. That is, once they start to make money legitimately, they will start to enrich their pockets legitimately. They will do less of crime. And secondly, a significant percentage of the money we are going to be receiving is going to be saved into the coffers of Omelabo Kingdom. In a situation where something comes up in Omelabo and we are required to call on the sons and daughters of Omelabo to start contributing money, that is no longer going to happen because from the money we are receiving now, based on this structure we have put in place, something is going to be saved consistently into the coffers of the kingdom so that when there is any problem, instead of calling for donations, we will just put our hands into the coffers of the kingdom and raise money and do what we want. Is there anything that is more beautiful than this? Onyeze, if you ask me, I will tell you that this is stealing. And I cannot remember when we started making stealing a legitimate way of making revenue in this kingdom. Oh, yes, I will plead with you. Do not play into their hands and call it stealing because it is not stealing. Okay, let us even assume that it is stealing. If stealing legitimately is going to make the boys of your kingdom to become good, are you not prepared to sign it into law? In fact, that is what I am pleading with you right now as the king of Omelabo Kingdom. You are going to sign this new provision, this new structure that we have set up, to sign it into law as a practice in Omelabo that anybody who is coming to invest in Omelabo Kingdom must pay the developmental levy. That is what we have started and it is about money. I don't even know why you are looking skeptical. When did you start being allergic to money, Onyeze? When? Uti, you're getting me confused the more. How? Do you really listen to yourself talk? Are you listening to yourself? No, you are the one listening to me, Onyeze. Wait, are you, are you trying to tell me that I should tell the sons and daughters of Omelabo 
that they should pay money to develop their own community. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, where, where, where does it happen? It is not just the sons and daughters of Amela, but we are talking about anybody who is coming to invest anything at all in Amela Kingdom must pay a development levy to the Amela community. I don't want to know whether it has happened somewhere or not. It is something we have started to generate money for our kingdom. Now let me tell you, from the structure we have, a very defined percentage of the money coming in is already programmed to be coming into your account to strength. You are going to be a super beneficiary of these structures. So I wouldn't know why you are not already thinking how you are going to sign this into law. Uti, do you think this is possible? I don't think. I know it is possible. But you are the one who will sign it into law. You. Ah, gee. <laughs> I've missed you. Really? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I actually don't believe that because I have this feeling that you have gotten another man for yourself. And I wonder, have I not been taking good care of you, Trisha? Of course you do. You know, you are the only man who knows how to get to me. Really? And I am the only lady who knows how to treat you right. Well, I don't actually believe that. Because a uh, few nights ago, I, I'm still wondering why you refused to come. Even when my PA told me specifically that she placed a call across to you. Chelsea was here, a friend, and uh, I can tell you she's having a wonderful time of her life. Chelsea? Yes. Chelsea? Uh, Chelsea, your friend, I think your, your roommate. Uh, should I confide in you that that girl is actually very good? And um, that makes me wonder why haven't you been coming along with her? All right. About that. You see, Chelsea is not really into, you know, this kind of lifestyle. So I've tried to tell her severally. But you know how this people who grew up in no valley protective Christian homes do. Eh. So, but I'm happy she finally came around. Mm. You are? Of course, of course. Well, I understand, but you have not... Uh... I have said I am sorry. Eh? I have apologized. <laughs> you know what? I'll make it up to you. Hmm? You will? Of course. <laughs> For you. I like the sound of that. A sleepover is always worth it. <laughs> So what are we waiting for? Is that a bad one? Please hear my girl. Ah, I can understand. I hope you're not there. I you Oh my god. Sugar. I can't wait to see the look on my friends' faces and my enemies alike when you pop up that question. It's going to be a dream come through. Yes. I really can't wait. What do you think, baby? Babe. Hmm? What's wrong? What? I was talking to you and you're not saying anything. What's the matter? Oh, no, it's nothing. It's nothing, actually. I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. Babe, no, you're not fine. Honey, what is the matter? Nothing, I'm okay. I'm fine. No, you're not. I'm okay. Trust me, come on, I'm, I'm fine. You were with me a while ago, and the next minute you were gone. What's going on? Talk to me. I'm okay. You've got to trust me, I'm fine, all right? Whatever it is has nothing to do with you. Huh? I'm okay, come on. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Hmm? Come, trust me. Honey, you've been like this since I arrived. Tell me whatever it is. I'm here to listen. I'm fine. All right. I'm okay. It's nothing. I'm okay. Come on. Come here. Huh? It's okay. Come on Are you now. sure you're I'm fine? I'm fine. Huh? You said you were saying something. What were you saying? Well, I was telling you that I can't wait mm -hmm. to have your ring on my finger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you aware that this is a serious accusation? 
Okay, Juku, I'm not accusing anyone. I'm just telling you how I feel on the inside. Really? Yes. You are accusing a titled man of a Melabo. One who is highly revered. One who half of the kingdom see as a savior. Hmm. I like the way you put it. One who half of the kingdom see as a savior. So we continue to show the world at the back of a cup. Huh? And never the inside. Honestly, I'm still finding it very difficult to understand this. Okay. Yours is understandable. Okay? You've been in competition with him over the years. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you took a large chunk of his clientele base mm -hmm. and the man is grasping a straw. It's, as a matter of fact, he's just struggling. Okay? Mm -hmm. But what about the rest? The other people? What does he stand to gain? That man is a dubious man. Uti. Okay, okay. He's a very dubious man. My father told me that much. But I can see with my own eyes. His true colors. Can you not see it? I'm still finding it difficult to understand this. Okay. He's dubious, yes. He's wicked. We all know that. But why will he get involved with the youth council? Because he's capable of anything. That's why. Hmm? So, what did the king say? Oh, he said that um, he would um, get to the root of the problem and ensure that such injustice does not continue in Omelabo. <laughs> that is all that he said. Hmm. Ah, yes. I think we should give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's see if he can actually make the right decision this time. Because honestly, I'm beginning to see him as somebody who doesn't think with his head anymore. Interesting. Very interesting to know that someone in Omelabo <laughs> also sees the loopholes that I see in the throne of Omelabo. Uh, and if you ask me, I will tell you that the king is on Saudi's payroll. <laughs> What's amusing? <laughs> Okay, pick a spot. Pick a spot. <laughs> also, what you think, eh? <laughs> you know, ah, you know what they say about the truth, eh? Mm -hmm. It will not hide forever. We'll wait and see. <laughs> You're right. Your Majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty, what are you saying? Are you telling me that you're okay with what is going on? Whether I am okay with it or not does not mean that I will not walk in line with my people. The youths of Omelabo Kingdom felt the need for that particular levy to be made part of the fees to be paid by any developer or builder in this community. Personally, I do not see anything wrong with that. In fact, I should be congratulating them for thinking up such a wonderful idea and bringing it to life. Are you... Are you kidding me right now, Unyeze? This is an outright theft from developers and indigents of this land. Igwe, young men working very hard every day to put, you know, two and two together, to elevate their families, to, to, to better the lot of their families, Igwe. Young man, I do not see what your problem here is. You are an architect and a builder. Your job is to do whatever you're asked to do. As long as you collect the money and pay up the necessary levies. So what exactly is your problem? Even my problem is that because of this thing going on right now, the buildings that I'm constructing is under attack. I am under attack. My business is under attack. You cannot imagine how many of my laborers I have right now laying on hospital beds. You know about it, Igwe. Do you not? Calm down, young man. Calm Don't down. tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Do you know what is costing me right now to run my business because of these hoodlums and the evil that they are perpetrating you know, in this community? I am pained. I am directly affected. Others are equally directly affected, Igwe. Do something about it. But it is not the case's fault. It's your stubbornness. 
if you are not stubborn and you 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 you, you pay the mandated levy, then you don't incur such loss on yourself. It's your duty. Yes. Let me ask you a question. Will you be happy if your son comes to tell you when he's ready to build his own house on his own land as an indigent, a land that you obviously inherited from your father and passed on to him, that he is being asked to pay development levy on that land? Will you be happy? Um, well, I, I would not. But all the same, I will advise him to do the right thing. What is right? Really? What is right about these abnormalities? What is right? Oh yes, a lot is going on in this community and it is seen as not serious. And that is why all these abnormalities are continuing and suddenly it is beginning to, seen, to be seen as something that is normal. The people are aching, the people are in pain. You could do something about it. Young man, I can understand your, your pain and frustration, but it's unfortunate. There is little or nothing I can do to help you in this matter. Okay. I must say that I am shocked at how unperturbed you are about this matter. But I'll also have you know that this is not about me. No. It's about the sons of this kingdom. And if you choose to sit on it and not do anything about this matter, I can assure you that you're sitting on a keg of gunpowder. And very soon it will explode because you are pushing the people to the wall. And when it explodes, there will be dire consequences. Young man, I want to advise you to be very, very careful with your choice of words. Do not forget that you are before the king talking. You should learn at all times to respect that position. The king was with Sakuti in his house until 11 p.m. yesterday. And today he endorses the blunder the youths are making. Hilary, this is no longer a puzzle. We now know where the smoke is coming from. Ah, okay, Chukwu. I'm proud of you. I am very, very proud of you as my one and only friend in Omalabo. Thank you for seeing through all of this. Thank you for being so insightful. Thank you. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> ah, okay, Chukwu, the king of Omalabo has sold his royal oath and I'm going to make him pay for it. I don't think it will be necessary for you to confront the king. It may backfire. I have ever said that I'm going to roll out to confront him. But something is going to happen very soon in Omelabo and the people's part of tolerance will explode and simultaneously the people of Omelabo would rise up against injustice. Wait for it, Okechuku. Wait for it. It is looming. Hilary, that's a revolution you're talking about. Huh? And what makes you think we're prepared for that here in Omelabo? We don't have to be prepared for a revolution, but we must be ready to say that enough is enough. Now something is going to happen. You see that man they call OKK will become so strong and powerful that he will begin to collect his own tax in this community and nobody will do anything about it. And that puppet of a king is going to stand back, do nothing, but support him. The people must rise up against this treachery. Let's just pray everything works out accordingly. If you notice anything that is not right, you call me. Alright? The activities of these hoodlums already have cost me so much money. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Alright. So I'm, I'm going to the other side of town. I have um, a few other things that I'm handling over there. Of course, you know. Uh, I'll also keep you updated. No problem, sir. Eh? Thank you very much. Please keep your eyes on the ground. All right, sir. For a long time, we've been acting so blind, and everything falling apart. We are living in fear for a long time. For it's high time we stand and face a problem. We need to rise up 
Someone need to stand up and say The no fears and no fears and no fears and no fear need to rise up Someone need to stand up and say No fears and no fears and no fears and no fears People are dying, no one is talking And this atrocity continually growing every day Mr. Kiki, what is the meaning of this now? What is this? Ha, ah, okay, you know what? Please, move your vehicle. I have somewhere to be, somewhere very important to be. Please, move your car. I can see that finally you have decided to do the same thing I've been asking you to do for a very long time now. I pleaded with you not to go into war with me, that I'm going to crush you. But you decided to give it a trial. What, what? What are you facing now? I gave you one chance to better your life. What did you do? You blew it. That's what you did. Mr. KK, you're wasting my time. I have somewhere to be. I swear to God, if you do not lower your car off the way, I am going to smack right through it and nothing will happen. And I should let you be a gentle man. Why are you parading yourself as an architect and always you speak like a tout? Why? That cloak of gentility, Mr. KK, may be the reason you keep pushing me to the wall. But I advise you today, retrace your steps so that the animal that you feel you have tamed does not return to tear you apart. Well, if only you can do less of talking like a loser that you are and give me just five minutes to talk. Maybe I will cut you a deal that will change your life forever. I'm not interested in a crooked business deal from a crooked businessman. This man, leave me alone. Well, a businessman should listen to all business opinions, even those coming from the enemy, and then try as much as possible to make the best of them. That is how a businessman should behave, and I wonder, why are you not behaving like a businessman? Didn't your father teach you that much? And why do you keep leeching on the innocent and the poor since you're such a great businessman? Mr. OKK, I'm not interested in your proposal. Give it to someone else. <laughs> but my prayer is that one day the people of Omalabo will see you for who you truly are. Nemesis will catch up with you. Uh. Move this box. I'm going to smack through it if you're still standing. <laughs> Move this box out of my way. I can see you are not ready for business. We shall see. Stand there, let me run you over. Ah. <laughs> not, not, not we shall see. We've been told to shut the mouth for a long time. We've been acting so blind and everything falling apart. We are living in fear for a long time. But it's high time we stand and face our problems. We need to. I understand the situation. Right? I have decided to stay back. Because it's very clear to me from the meeting that we had that that foolish man is, is up to something. Believe me, Larry, that wasn't a meeting, that was an outright confrontation. Well, whatever that was. The most important thing is that he confessed himself to be behind the troubles that we're having in this kingdom. I, I just want you to see this from my own angle. What if this man is actually guarding you into doing something that will lead to your downfall? What if? I don't understand what you're saying. I just want you to see this from my own perspective. This man is not comfortable with your guts. You boldly delved into a business that is seen as his. And you have taken over everywhere. You've been collecting projects from people, winning their trusts, making money out of the whole thing. And you're about sending him into the gutters. <laughs> I, I, I mean, he's not happy. What do you expect from him? Honestly, I'm surprised you're buying into his staged confession. I don't think it was staged. I mean, you know a man who is joking when you see him. I, I don't think it was staged. Come on, uh, Hilary. I don't just want you to fall 
cheaply like that. Don't fall into his trap. No, I won't. That man has something up his sleeves. I hope you've not told anyone about this. Oh, no, I haven't, but why if I may ask? Good. You mustn't mention it. Don't let anyone hear about this. Why? I mean, the whole thing looks insane. It looks stupid. He's trying to get you to call the king a pupet in the open. And when you do that, <laughs> you are gone. Completely. Okay. I don't know if to say you're confusing me though. I am not, Hilary. Or if I should say that you are bringing too many dimensions to this. No. I just want you to understand where I am coming from. Do not allow him use you. Don't be a willing tool, okay? The revolution will come and evil will surely be destroyed. Sir, she sounded like a woman deeply in trouble. So because of whatever way she sounded, you decided to give information about me. How dare you? Um, I'm sorry, sir. But, sir, uh, I did not do it because of Madame Paulina. I did it because of your son, Akanchawa. And can you stand before anything and swear that the so-called Akanchawa is indeed my son? Listen, this Omelabok kingdom is going to become so hot in the next few days, and I don't want anybody around here. Uh, uh, but, sir, what will I do? She said she'll be back a day after tomorrow. Listen, I don't want to tell you what you are going to do. But if you are still interested in this job, if you want to retain this job, then you must do whatever possible to undo what you did. Madame Paulina and the so-called Akanchawa must remain in Sweden where they are until I decree otherwise. <laughs> He has finally d denied his son. What kind of man is this? Why is he so complicated? to talk through our challenges and our problems in this relationship, talk to me. That is the problem. Talking to you. How is that a problem? Because you are suddenly consumed with your kingdom politics. Babe, you hardly even create time for us. What nonsense! Sudan, how can you say something like this? Huh? For how long have we been dating? Oh. My goodness, you, you, you thought I forgot about our anniversary? No, I, I did not forget. Hilary, answer the damn question. Four years, darling. No. It's been five years. And we've barely even had any serious talk about where this whole thing is going. But guess what has been the subject since the past four months and counting? Your kingdom! Well, you can't blame me. I'm just worried. You have no freaking right whatsoever to worry about any other thing about from your family and us right now. I mean, why are you going about carrying the weight of the entire kingdom on your shoulder as if you owe them something? My 
darling. You are my priority. You will always be my priority. As you know me, baby, you've known me for years. You know that I'm not the kind of man that will keep mute on matters like this. My people are blind to this man's menace. He is ripping their skin off their bones and someone will have to stand up and put an end to this madness. That is what I'm doing. And of all the people of Formula Bo Kingdom, you are the one to stop him. Is this really the same man you confirmed as the one manipulating the king? Yes. And so, we're supposed to fold our arms as a conquered people. And watch Sauti turn over Labo Kingdom to his personal business enterprise. Is that what you think we should do? Babe, I am bothered about this in a different way. Why are you carrying it on your head? I see the entire people of Omelabo see you as this, the savior that has come to save them. Look, honey, you are a great man. And I honestly do admire you for being this human. But no, you are done carrying the weight of the entire kingdom on your shoulder. It's over. I mean, I'm sick and tired of this whole thing already. My darling. The time will truly come when men must suppress their tendency to be afraid and square up to the truth. This is that time for me, baby. If I sit back and not fight this battle, yes, I will marry you. But you and I will live here forever in fear. But if I go all out and win this battle, we will live as victors for the rest of our lives. Maybe I prefer the latter. I love you with all of my heart, but I need you. I need you to support me as the only woman in my life. I want you to help me achieve this feat. Because this victory would not just be for me alone. It will be a victory for all of us. A victory for Melabo. Hello? Madame, you already know the kind of man the father of your son is. Yes. I told him that you were planning to come back to Nigeria. And he said, threatened me that he was going to kill me if you ever come back. Listen, ma. A lot of things are happening right now in the country. And it is not safe for you and your son to return. Yeah. Please, ma. Please, just do me a favor. Stop calling me. Stop calling me because you might call me and I might be in his presence. I don't want to be in trouble. If you must reach me, just send me a text message. And I promise I would call you immediately. As, as long as I'm free and I'm not with him. Please, please, I don't want any trouble. You and I are already friends. I will personally call you back. All right then, bye. Thank you. What's the matter? What's the meaning of what you're doing? What am I doing? 
<laughs> Don't do that. Don't make me feel like a fool. As, what are you doing here? Inko, the plan was for you to come to all his parties. And not for you to be in his bed entertaining all his sexual urges. Excuse me? Are you directly calling me a whore? Are you? Are you? Because from what it looks like up here, you look like one. <laughs> See, Amaka. Let me break it down to you. Chief likes me. I mean, he really, really likes me. That himself invited me to his bed, not me. And he's so good. Way better than that whatever I was dating. Oh, God. Amaka, if I wasn't good, Chief would not invite me to his bed, would he? Kiru, do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? That man does not have any respect for anyone. He doesn't regard nobody. Kiru, do you know I have been on the phone with a particular woman, the mother of his child? She has been calling, begging 247 to come back and see him. But did he agree? No. He doesn't even want to hear anything about her. Is that the kind of man that you want? The kind of man that you want to be with? The man that you have been waiting for all your life? Is that it? Kiru, wake up. Wake up. Oh, but! I mean, what's your problem? You know, I don't know what your problem is. You might be the one that gave Chief my number. But this is my life we are talking about here. And I live my life the way I want it. Kiru. One more word from you, Amaka. I will make sure Chief has your job in the next 24 hours. And I don't think you want that. Are you threatening me? And Kiru, are you threatening me? That is one good advantage of having a very good honey pot like me. They keep on coming. And you know, people like Chief, they'll keep on coming to my honey pot. And you know what that means? So do not piss me off. I'll make sure you won't like my next action. Rubbish. Wow. What the hell was that? In Kiru. Yeah. Is there anything women won't do for money these days? Unbelievable. Are you okay? No, no, why would you say a thing like that? But it's the truth. Because it is the truth, that's why. No, but what is the truth? That Saudi has the king wrapped under his fingers. Mm -hmm. That is ridiculous and completely baseless. Did you have any idea what that accusation could mean? It is treason to say the least. I know. And that is why I'm here, so that we can put heads together and liberate our people. Then you have wasted your time completely. Let me just pretend as if I didn't hear that. What is it, Naya? You need to. What? Well, no, no, what? No, no, what is what? No, tell me what is what? You are obviously drunk. That's why you could utter such despicable thing from your mouth. No, no, tell me, Oga Hillary. Tell me. Tell me. How possible do you think it is for the king of this mighty kingdom to be controlled by some persons? And it is Saudi to say the least. Saudi. It is not far fetched because he controls the youth association. He handpicked you for presidency, and when you stepped out of line, he had you removed. No. I resigned honorably. I'm no one's puppet. <laughs> so you think, isn't there, that you are not um, his puppet? This one time does not mean that you have not been for the longest. Hey, 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 hey! Okay, Hilary, did you realize that you are in my house and you are insulting me? I know where I am and I'm sorry, okay? 
But I cannot be lying to you about something like this. Come on. Calm down. Huh? I just can't help but to think of how this man gloats around like he owns the entire universe. Look at it. You think I'm making this up? No. Listen, I have you observed our king closely? There's been a lot of changes lately. But you think it's a mere coincidence? For it's high time we stand and face a huh? problem. We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say. Listen, listen, listen. Who said? I have not been thinking in this light since. I'm telling you. I've been thinking in this light. But it has just been done on me that. that we are allowing an abomination to consume us in this human labor. Do you even know the implication of what you're saying? Hi. Eh? That the king of Umelabo is being controlled by someone? <laughs> Do not allow Hillary to set you up against the king. It could cost you your life. I, I, I want you to look at it this way. Why will he go around and make a claim? A claim you know that could possibly cost him his life. <laughs> it is possible. Maybe he has decided to die like his father. But I will advise you as your friend, good one at that. Do not allow him to drag you down with him. The king remains the king. And people should not even be seen gathering anywhere to discuss him. Uh, but seriously, OZ. I want us to look deeper into this and know if there's anything we can find. I know what you can do. And that is why I sing with you out. OZ, do not disappoint me. I must admit that I understand exactly what you're trying to say. But what I'm saying is that, that there are certain people you shouldn't confide in. Because you can't really tell who and who is loyal to Saudi and the king. Once your plan gets to them, that may be the end of your life. And you think that they have not already killed me spiritually? Listen, I know what I'm up against. And I'm not backing down until we reclaim this kingdom. Some European countries went to war early in their history because of things like and this. And that is why we must open the eyes of our people. We have to sensitize and educate them so that they can see where we are going with this. Someone, somewhere, somebody is trying to colonize Omelabo and make this beautiful town his personal enterprise. But I, Hillary, Mbajaka would be the last man now that happened. Does his mother and sisters know about this? My best guess? No. He said his mother and sisters hardly ever go home, ever since the death of their dad. Mm. And honestly, girl, I don't think I am ready to involve that old woman in all of this. But you need to speak to someone that will speak sense into him. Because clearly, he doesn't listen to you anymore. That is the problem. Who do I even talk to? Who? His friends, of course, or something like that. Friends sound nice. But girl, I am not ready to go about discussing Hillary with people that would think he has some serious mental issues. No. Besides, the only friend he has is okay. Is he even listening to that guy? Honestly girl, I am so exhausted. I have tried so many times to fight it out with him. But it's not working either. 
Arthur, you know how long I have been with him. You equally know all the sacrifices I have made just to be here. I don't think I am ready to throw all that away. I know all that, Eve. Believe me, I know. But you got to have him alive to be able to fulfill your dreams of spending the rest of your life with him. You, you know that all these villagers and kingdoms they are petish, you know that. That is the problem. Hillary doesn't even want to hear that. He is just so stubborn. He believes he is superior to any fetish power and all that. Call his mother. <laughs> you need to call that woman. Call his mother for crying out loud. Just put that aside. He has his grievances with his mother because the woman wasn't there the day the father died. Going to her right now is a total waste of time. It's not a good idea. And that woman will not appreciate your own reality effort should anything happen to her only son. See, you need to call that woman. What do I do? How do I do this whole thing? How do I fix it? What do I do? Call the poor woman before everything gets out of hand. Please, call her. What is the meaning of this nonsense? Huh? They have not even exhausted the stone I have here. And they are asking me to buy more stone. What kind of, what kind of rubbish is this? What? You lousy woman. Where did you get this? A woman should not touch that. Where did you get it and why are you putting it towards And that is the problem you have. Uti Okeke. <laughs> You have concluded that I'm a woman. And that was why you sold my land. Hey! And now, I am going to prove to you that many women are indeed men. Yeah. And many men parading themselves and not even women. Uti! You are a man. Uti Okeke! Hey! I'm a ticket for Nanya. You will bleed and bleed to death! Mama Hey, 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 come on, come back here. You lousy woman that's been down married from my wedding. What do you think you're doing? You want to walk out on the real king of Amalabar kingdom? Do you want me to kill you before your time? So, by making this statement, by saying that you are the real king of Amalabar kingdom, you have confirmed the rumor making the rounds that you have been the one manipulating the king. Hey! We shall see. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. I said come back here. I said come come back here. Come back here. Sir, sir, is there a problem? What kind of PA are you? I slept up here in my living room and you didn't wake me up to go upstairs and sleep. Why must you allow me to continue sleeping here? Sir, you want me to never wake you up anytime you fall asleep since you barely sleep at night. I was only obeying your instruction. I am, I am, I am. He's manipulating the community. I am, I am, and manipulating the authority. What is going on? This evil woman of our brain. What is she up to? Come here. Come here. Why are you disgracing yourself? Hey, God. What is the problem? The sun is hot. What is it? Hey, 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 hey. Why pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about? Why? Yeah. Unkiru, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what is making you rage. I don't know. I'm lost. So, what is it? But they are there. See, okay. let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. You may not know this in Neka. Mm -hmm. You see those boys working for Sawithi. 
I'm very close to Jamaica. Yes, yes. You don't need to tell me. You don't need to tell me at all. You're a very classless girl. You can do whatever it takes to get what you want. So, I'm not surprised. Motoro Babuogi. Yeah. Asimo Motoro Babuogi. Okay. Don't that fire you. It's very, very stupid. Only. It's very, very stupid. Only. What made you think I have anything to do with them? What made you think that? Mm. See, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. They have been telling me how you have been coming to Saudi secretly. Secretly? Yes, you mean secretly. Mm. <laughs> let me tell you something. Eh? Nkiru, mm. Saudi likes me. Mm? And if he calls me, I will go and see him. Get that. Oh, you see your life? Mm -hmm. As shameless as stupid you are. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Saruti likes me. Mm. Saruti likes me. Mm. And I'll go and see Saruti. Mm. Mm. Despite all my warnings. Oh, you Let me tell you something. Eh? You cannot live my life for me. <laughs> and I cannot live your life for you. Okay. In Anuya, that is all I have to say. I don't have strength to start raging with you. The sun is hot. Anovia. What, what is wrong with all these girls in this village? The more I'm trying to convince myself that these girls are worthy to be trusted. But they will use their hands and tell me they're stupid and senseless. They are not worthy to be trusted. Ndala. Idiot. What? What is it? What is wrong with you? Stupid girl. Oh, 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 Trisha, did you just slap me? And I will slap you again and again and again if you don't heed my warnings and stop fooling around with you. Akune, I introduced you into this business. So I will not stand back and have you ridicule me by taking away the most important VIPs of them all. Akune, hi. Oh, Do you know you're girl. stupid? Do you know you're a very big fool? Fighting over a man who does not even want you. And I don't really care, Akune. I don't care, Akune. That's your name. I don't care. And trust me, you don't want to cross me. Because if you do, I will show you that I have connections in high places. That all it will take is just one phone call. One phone call from me and you will never see the light of day again. Ever again. Don't dare me. Don't dare me, Chelsea. Don't dare me, stupid girl. Listen, uh, what I want you to understand is that we are men of Omelabo. This is where we come from. We are not going to fold our arms like you're doing right now. And watch a few men hijack the fortunes of everyone else. We have to do something. Well, uh, Ogahilan. I am no longer part of the executive council. Mm. Yes. In fact, I have told everybody that I am no longer interested in the kingdom politics. Why can't you just leave me alone? Listen, Naya. Listen, Naya, you don't have to be an active member of the youth's executive to do the right thing. You're a man of this kingdom. This is where you come from. Huh? If for nothing else, you do it for posterity, do it for humanity, do it for people who look up to you, who hope that one day you speak up on their behalf. Do it for the love of this kingdom. You cannot be docile. You've got to be active. Huh? You don't understand. It doesn't end at that. It doesn't end at that. Huh? Fine. If what you are saying is actually true, then every youth I mean, every single person in Omelabo should be noticed. Or the eyes should be noticed. You can just take up something like this without a concrete packing. Something concrete packing you. You can't just take something up like that. If I understand what you're saying, are you asking for proof? Yes, yes. Proof is not a bad idea. <laughs> if I may suggest again, Maybe you should gather more people mm. to support you. Not just only youths, but men and women. And to support your claim. By that, 
you may have built a formidable foundation to claim your planned attack. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not planning an attack. All right? Hear me now. I desire the restoration of the sanity of our administrative mechanism in Omelapo. That is what I'm asking for. I need you to see the vision here. That is what I seek. And I think that any right-thinking human being in this kingdom should key into it. Do you see my point at all? Why is everyone afraid of this man? Why? Has my mom calling me at this time of the night? Mom? Yes, mom. What are you doing, Hillary? Why are you calling me at this time of the night, mom? Uh, what do you mean, what am I doing? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Hillary, I have already buried a husband and a daughter. Do I have to lose a son too before I finally say goodbye to this elder? Mom, who told you about this? I told them not to tell you anything. Well, blame it on their worrying nature. Hilary, I let you take your business to the village, but it's just for business. Not for you to go and involve yourself in the politics of that town. Mom, politics and, and revolution are two different things, Mom. Whatever it is that I am fighting for here, it's for the good of all of us. I don't want you to involve yourself with the affairs of that town. Desist and focus on your business only, Hillary. In fact, come back to the city. I am sure you have competent hands to take care of things there. Ma huh. Who told my mom about this? No. It's not okay, Chukwu. I know him. <laughs> it's got to be evening. It's got to be evening. Why would she do a thing like this? That young man is not as basic as you think. He is gradually gaining support by the day, by questioning some of the people that matter in this land. On that note, Onyeze, I am, I, am, I am asking you to kill him. I beg your pardon? You heard me right. I don't know why you are looking surprised. I want you to administer capital punishment on that young man. Listen to me. Capital punishment is a rule that is not even in the Bible. It was the same rule that Cain administered on Abel, his brother, when that Old Testament fool 
refused to understand where he must stop. Anybody who must not stop where he is supposed to stop must be stopped permanently. The hard way. I am the king of not just any kingdom. I am the king of Omelabo. And the man who administers on the sacred throne of Omelabo must not take a life. And you of all people know it. So why are you tempting me? I am disappointed in you. Really? With your education, level of your education, with your exposure, you still believe in the answer? Hold on, hold, hold on. Let me, let me understand this. Are you trying to say that you do not believe in the sacredness of our administrative structure? They don't exist. Oh. All those are myths created by our ancestors to intimidate people. They don't exist. Do you know for how long we have collected this development levy? Do you actually know how much we have collected? Onyeze, we are hitting one billion naira soon. And has the ancestors killed anybody? They have not killed anybody. If that useless son of Mubajeka, who is parading himself as Hillary, has decided to become a stumbling block to our way of progress, then I am asking you to turn him off, Onyeze. Why can't you do it? Why do you want me to do that? Eh, I have lost count of the number of times I have tried to kill that idiot that is not working out. Listen to me, Ojeze, you are the beneficiary of destruction. You are not going to say you don't know how much you have made. I want you to lift the staff of the king of Omelabo Kingdom. Declare that idiot dead on that staff. He is going to die after some days and then his blood is not going to be on you. I so know. you cannot kill him. And now you want me to use the same powers that you do not believe in to kill that young man. Sometimes, why are you this inconsistent? What? What did you just say to me? You heard me. Look, I was really busy, okay? And I do not want to be disturbed. Oh, you were busy? Was that also the case with your friends? Or was it just me because you didn't want to face me because of what you've done? Okay, fine. I agree. I called your mom. What, what was I supposed to do? You were not listening to me. And I figured you would listen to her. I begged you. Evelyn, I begged you. I told you, do not get my mother involved in this. Did we not agree? Huh? Really? You're ganging up against one man. One man who said publicly that he killed your father. And he's ready to kill again. You expect me to... Fold my hands and watch him kill my man? No. If it's not gonna kill me, nobody would kill me, Eve. I told you that I have this under control. Alright? And I do have it under control and I'm, I'm, I'm handling him. Oh, come on, babe. Don't insist on this. You are practically playing into the hands of a dangerous and dirty man. I am not ready to take any chances. And that's why I called your mom. Listen, I understand how you feel. I understand your fears. But you've got to trust me. I have this under control. Okay? The fact that we have a few bad men in Omelabo does not mean that everybody should cross their arms and let them carry on with their evil ways. No. Someone has got to stop them. That is what I'm doing. Look, I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this for you as well. I'm doing it for everyone. Everybody is affected. If we let things continue this way, believe me, before long, it will be seen as normal. And then abnormality turns into normality in Omelabo. And it will not happen. That is what I am fighting against. Trust me. So what are you going to do next? Dine with the devil just to prove a point? Honey, I love you. And I'm not ready to sit around and watch somebody kill you, take you away from me. I can't take it. Forgive me for being that selfish, but honestly, I will repeat what I did if you fail to listen to me. Please, how may I help you? My name is Hilary Mbajaka. The same Hilary? Yes. Please, may I be on to Saruti? 
Um, I'm sorry, sir, but Sir uh, Uti is indisposed at the moment. You can call back later or maybe tomorrow. Listen, it's a matter of life or death. Could be the life of someone very important to him. Could even be your life, Maka. Hmm? How did you know my name? My name is Hilary Mbajaka. Now, put him on the phone. Um, okay, sir. If you, could you please just hold on for a minute? Let me try and get Saudi on the line. Thank you. Hold on. Chief, mm -hmm. you haven't said anything yet. Okay, I've said a whole lot. With body language and the chemistry. Maybe you were expecting me to speak in black and white, right? Chief, what did you then say now? I said I will give you the money. Wow. Is it that money that it was? Yes, Chief. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Sorry for disturbing you, sir. Um, Mr. Hillary is on the phone. He wants to speak with you. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is Sauti, the strong man of Omelabo. The Omi Sa of Obodi Sa. Hit me, boy. What is the problem? And why are you calling my number? What? Hilary Mbajaka. You know, I never really believed it. When you said you were coming. I thought you were pulling my legs. And here you are. <laughs> I have a man of my words. I can see. Yes. And I am certain you have seen my boys. Yeah. Well, um, you don't have to be afraid. They don't bite. At least they will not bite you now that you are here on a friendly visit. <laughs> and I only want to believe uh, you have seen my PA Amaka. Oh yeah, I know this one very well. Um, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. So can we then get that to business immediately? <laughs> okay, trust me. The, the, there are things that you, you guys just really don't know and understand. Okay, you don't understand how these things work. Oh, do you know? Yes. You know, I, 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 as what? No, no, let me understand. As, I, I, as what? Yes, no, no, no as, a way, as a way to tell us that you do more than us? Mm -mm. That is all what I have said, Ezenaya. Ah. You know I can never say a thing like that, Ezenaya. Whatever. But take it from me that OZ is right. I mean, how do you expect people to take you seriously when you are making a fool of yourself, Oga Hilary? Guys, relax. No, 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 don't tell me to relax. 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 Okay, what's that? Fine, fine. Now that we are on the same page. Yes. Can you tell us what is going on? Fine, if you let me talk. We'll have a plan. But then it dawned on me that I need evidence to pin that idiot down. And we don't have anything on him. Hilary, did I just hear you say evidence? By taking up contract with him, by doing businesses with him, being seen at every occasion and event he goes. Who you are, Again, you need to trust me. I know how this looks on the outside. But please trust me. Okay, I will get that evidence. Trust the process, please. So how it has done on me that you don't even know the man we are talking about? Exactly, I don't know him and I'm trying very hard right now to know him at close range. And I tell you, it's very, very risky. But I have to do what I have to do, okay? But nothing good comes easy. I need you guys to trust him. Trust, all right. Just trust the process. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What are you asking me to do? I believe you heard me the first time. Listen, I need your help, and believe me, I know exactly what I'm doing. 
You know exactly what you're doing. Yes. And you're asking me to help you betray my boss. I, I just need you to do something, you know, just make a mistake, you know. Forget something, an omission. That, that's all I need. That's, that's all I need, really, from you. Yeah. Yes. Well, I see. But I guess you can't see it because you are damn too ambitious that you want me to you mother my boss's reputation. Oh, far from it, Amaka. Come on. Listen, you don't even know what I want to do. You know, just help me. Listen, hey, Larry. I may look stupid to you, but I'm not one. Please, excuse me. I'm What is it? Why are you not eating your food? I don't know. You don't know? Wait. Did that evil man say anything again to you? Mama, he didn't say anything to me. Besides, there's nothing he would say to me that is new. I'm used to his demeaning words. I still don't know why you insisted on working for that man. Because the pay is good. He pays well, and you have not built a house. What kind of payment is that? You don't even like the job. My dear, your happiness should be of importance to you. Mama, I'm happy that it bothers you. But there is nothing that is wrong with me that I cannot handle, okay? So trust me, I can handle this. Nervous. Oh, I understand it. You came into me the handsome young man and you got carried away. Seriously, I am very disappointed that you will have to exhibit such character before me. That is to say the least very despicable. I'm I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to. How about you? If you ask me, I think you're being a bit too hard on the lady. Uh, that's off the hook. I mean I'm used to it. You know, ladies can't get enough of it. So they keep complimenting and I keep taking it, it's fine. Uh, it's okay, Chief. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry here, Larry, if I made you uncomfortable. It's okay. Chief, there's something I would like to discuss with you. It's important. Chief, uh, you remember the all-important meeting with Polo, the business talk? Yes, yeah. it's right about now. If we have to catch him, we'll have to catch him now. We'll have to move now. now. Okay, Abaka, I, you heard that, right? So whatever thing you want to discuss with me can actually wait until we get back, okay? Hillary, you told me how you had to be late to meetings. So I think we have to believe in that. Now. Nah. Uh, let's go. Huh? Let's. Is a solo business, Chief. Yeah. You know what can do? So it is true. It is true then. And he's really... Yeah, yes. It is true. He is now a part of us, and I, I want you to understand that there is this business deal that I am trying to set up with him, and uh, the business is going to be good for everybody. Trust me. And you think you can trust this man after all the stunt he pulled on you and on us? Mothers, calm down, okay? I'm not talking about trust. I don't work with trust. I'm a businessman. I work with money. 
there is the business that we have together. And the business promises to be very big. It's going to bring millions of naira and everybody's going to be happy. Okay? And I trust him that he is not going to mess up that business. That is why I want us to understand. We are businessmen. And in business, there is no permanent enemy. Just like in politics, there is no permanent friend. What we have is permanent interest. Uh, look, guys, I know that we've gone off to a wrong start. But believe it or not, I'm not here to make trouble. Neither am I here to betray Saudi. Like I said, we have a business deal. But you see, even in this industry, um, a young man of my age in construction is maybe sometimes considered a rookie. So it is in my best interest as well to align with um, a man like Saudi, who is not just experienced, but has lived so many years Definitely. in this business. But you insulted us. Yes. You made us look like doubts. Uh -huh. Why? Guys, I'm a businessman whose, whose business was going down. What did you expect? I, I, I just had to react. But I'm sorry. That's why I'm here. You know? So that we can shake hands and be friends. My guys, you, you, you need to calm down. Calm down, okay? I want us to understand, as I said before, that this is all about business. And uh, you should trust me when it comes to business. I always trust my sixth sense not to disappoint. You know what I'm thinking? As a way of celebrating this business that we have set up, that is going to give us millions of naira, I am thinking that we should arrange a party here this night. Not a very loud party, a quiet party where a lot of things will be arranged for the boys to cool down. That should be a way to ease off, you know, the tension. Chief. Chief. Amaka. Amaka. Sir. Please come. Sir. Yes, I, I have just made a decision with my, my friends here and I want to give you a special task. We are going to have a party here this night and uh, I am trusting you with the responsibility of organizing it. Not a very loud party, but a party where a lot of assorted will be arranged, point and kill. I believe you know what that means. So you, you set it up for the boys and uh, I want to make their spirits go high. Okay, sir. No problem. <laughs> so guys, uh, why not? Uh, Taso, 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 taso. Money, money is really good. Yeah, money, money. 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 Been open about all day, and I can almost feel my body giving way. I'm, I'm tired. You know, I planned this party for you to get along with the boys. I know. Get to know them closely, you know. It would have actually assisted us to kill whatever suspicion they have in there. I agree with you, Chief. But um, please, allow me this time. But I assure you that as time goes on, the boys will um, get used to the idea of me being, you know, part of the family now. I beg to leave. Well, I can understand. <laughs> if you see, no problem. But I wanted to come here very early in the morning because of the deal you need to see, okay? Oh, absolutely. I definitely will do, do that too. Um, I'm done for the day, sir. The girls for the party will be here by 9 p.m. It's all right. I trust you absolutely. You're never disappointed. Okay? Thank you, okay, then. I can, I can drop you off if you don't mind. No. No, no. Why would you say that? Hillary is not a part of the family, and uh, I believe he knows how to treat a lady. But, sir... Uh, eh, don't try to please me and say no. You don't need to do that. There's nothing wrong if he takes you home. So, you just go ahead. He has accepted to do that already, and I, I see nothing wrong in that. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay. All right, sir. Okay. So, I'll be in touch. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Have a wonderful... Okay, Thanks, sir. Yeah, bye-bye. Um, you can drop me around here. I'm sure I can find my way from here. 
or I promise the chief um, to ensure that I take you to your house and that's what I would like to do. Mm, yeah, like your promises make any difference. But I'm sure chief wouldn't mind. Rise up, someone need to stand up and say no fees and no fees. What's your deal with me, really? Hmm? Yeah, what's your deal with me? What is it? Be sure you can deal with honesty. Try me. You are disgusting. So selfishly, annoyingly disgusting. I mean, you come before my boss acting as if you wish him well. When all you want is a means to tear him down. Uh, I'm okay, your boss is not an innocent man. Neither are you. At least he doesn't hide it from people. He's cunning, manipulative, that he even found a way to catch the king in believing his ways. But he doesn't hide it from anyone. Unlike you, two-edged sword. Tell me, what do you think he would do when he finds out about your dishonesty and tricks? Oh, you mean when everything returns to normal and he has little or nothing to fall back on, what would he do? Uh, I doubt very much if there's anything he can do at that point. Nothing. He will kill you. He will hunt you to the ends of this earth and he will kill you. That's how ruthless Saudi is. Okay, listen. I get it. You're scared too scared to do your part but I need you I need you to be in on this with me for the salvation of our people you are the only person that man trusts with all of his life in this entire way. as a matter of fact and the whole world as it stands I need you to be in on this for the liberation of our people I need your help I'm not helping you. So drop it. How is it that she came all the way without even letting me know? Huh? Okay. Tell but me. Who? Okay. What do you want to hear from me? Huh? The ones I told you before, what did you do about them? Ah, <sighs> mother. I understand that you're agitated, but you, you have to trust me. Okay, honestly, I know what I am doing. Have you lost your senses? Now tell me, what exactly were you thinking? Involving yourself with the likes of that man? Mom, please, slow down, okay? I understand how you feel, but please consider your health. Can we not talk about this now? Don't dare you pretend as if you care about me. You and I know that you don't care. Because if you did, I wouldn't have been having this hypertension now. Oh, calm down now. Calm down, okay? You know what, listen. I should calm down. Yeah, please calm down, okay? If you let me talk, if you just let me talk, I'll be able to explain things to you. Because right now you're being melodramatic, mother. What? Hilary, what did you just say? I am being dramatic. Hilary, do you know that I am losing my son? I am... Mother, you're not losing me. You're not going to lose me, mother. It's... You're not going to lose me. Okay, relax. Okay, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is that we're doing. Okay, even though Kichu here, he, 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 knows, he, he knows what I'm doing. You know, it's to move the kingdom forward. You know what? Yes, mother. I want you to stay away from that man. Uh, what all the counsel that you have with that man, please? Uh, mother, I, I'm afraid that that would not be possible because I have a business deal with him. I, I, I cannot back up now. I've gone, gotten too deep into it. Auntie, I am dead. Mom, why would you talk like that now? Who's killing who? You, mother, please, relax. Auntie. Mom, 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 where are you going? Mom, mom! What is wrong with you? What is it? What is, what is not it? 
we had an agreement. I told you not to bring her into this. I did. I did. How? You know how stubborn your mother can be. She's the second most stubborn person I have seen in my entire life after your father. You know, sometimes I feel like punching you. For it's high time we stand and face a problem. We need to rise up. Mom. Someone need to stand up and say, enough is enough. Enough is enough. We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Hey, people are dying. Hey, Stella. You have to calm down, okay? You really need to calm down. I have granted you audience into my presence and that means I want you to sit down like a responsible woman. And speak responsibly. Calm down. I should calm down, you said? Yes. When you have refused to let me be? What? <laughs> I know you expected me to be dead by now. Uti, I just want to ask you one question. Why can't you allow me to have some moment of peace in this town? Uh, what? What is this now? What is this? What is it? No, 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 this is not necessary. Hey, calm down, take it easy. This is not necessary. You don't have to do this. Larry. Yes, Mom. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we're not fighting anymore. Yes, we had issues in the past, but we have sorted it out, all right? Stop digging up old cores, Mother. Let it go, okay? We had issues in the past. We have made up. This is strictly business between both of us. We have moved on. That's what I'm saying. What? Yes, Mother. You have moved on with this man? Hilary, what has he been feeding you? He's not feeding me with anything, mother. Look, this is strictly business. Thank you. you have to trust me. Mother, look, whatever it is you're thinking is not what it is. This is just... You know what? Oh, let's go home. Mm. Okay. Uh, Hilary, you have to let your mother go. I want you to sit down because there is a business we really need to discuss. Very crucial business. Oh. Okay, mother. Please, just, you know, I'll handle it. It's okay if you say so. And you, <laughs> everyone knows you in this town as an evil man. Oh. But look at my son. Don't kill him for me, please. Mom. I beg you in the name of God, don't kill my son for me. Or else, you will not like what will happen. Yes, seriously, Hilary, I am not bothered at all. I'm not bothered. I understand what is going on. Your mother is just talking like a woman. Uh, men shouldn't take that to heart. So you, you come down, sit down. We have something to discuss. Thank you. Hilary, I need you to understand something. In this town, people call me a lot of names. Most of them say of me the things they don't know. They point accusing fingers all the time. But you know what? I have never allowed any of those to get at me. I have learned to ignore the people and mind my business. But I need you to understand something, that never in the history of Omelaba Kingdom has it ever happened that somebody is standing right before me, pointing at me and calling me evil. Your brother just did. And there is a reason I left her to leave this place and scratched. That reason is you. Because of the relationship we have come to share. Because I respect you so much and because we have become business partners. I understand that, Chief. I am sorry. Um, right now she's not in the right state of mind. I, I, I yes, I can deduce that from what just transpired. But that in any way does not mean I am happy with what happened here, just now. I'll talk to her about it, Chief. I'm sorry. Good. I'm really sorry. And then I want to ask you a very specific question. Yes, please. Based on the, the negative seed she may have sowed in you, is it in any way going to affect the business we are planning? Oh, not at all, Chief. I mean, business is business. I'm on the same page with you. Uh, as for the little drama with my mother, it's fine. I have it under control. <laughs> Healer in Bajaka. <laughs> I trust you. I am. 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 I
I managed to get her to take her drugs. Thank She's sleeping. Goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Yes. You told me you were going to handle the situation. I so, am handling it. I'm on top of it. You know what, Hilary? I don't like it when things get out of hand. Eh? Whatever you want to do, do it fast. Let things go, get back to normal. Okay, you worry too much. All right, I'm handling it. Hmm? I'm on top of it. Think that I am doing this for my own selfish need. Mamaka, do you know? Do you know the thousands of souls that will be set free and the liberation this kingdom will enjoy if we are able to bring the truth about this evil man to limelight? Help me, please. Harry, I don't know and I don't care. Listen, I came to drop some documents and I have done so. So let me go. Amaka, Amaka, Amaka. What is wrong with you? How many times am I going to tell you that I will not, never, do what you want me to do? Never! So please let me be. Really? Is that how important the oath you took is? Are you going to sell your soul and your conscience because of an oath that keeps you sitting down like a map of you while you watch this evil man not just ruin lives in this kingdom? Deal with people every day. Do you think anything would be left for you and I by the time he's done with us as a people? What are you thinking? Wake up! Hilary, you're not going to make me feel... Make you feel what? Helpless? Or guilty? For making yourself work for so many years for the same man who masterminded the killing of your father. I just said to you. Huh? Well, maybe if you said something worth listening to, I would have heard you by now. So this is what you've been up to. Hmm? Jumping from one girl to another. Is that it? You know, it's actually pointless having this conversation with you because you already made up your mind on what you want to believe. So oh, fine. I see. Yeah, yeah. I am now the bad guy, right? I came all the way from the city to this town, to your house, only for me to witness my man being slapped by a girl. And you expect me to see it as nothing but you trying to have a nice conversation with her. I am not stupid, you know. No girl, I mean, no girl will slap a man like that without a good reason. You and I know that. Really, why are you here? Did my mother send you here? Do not change the subject. Tell me what I need to know. Like I said, there is no point. You already made up your mind on what you want to believe because you always like to believe yourself. 
know you always like to believe yourself. This is the climax of this. You came here, cheat on me, and you still give me attitude. Nothing is enough. Nothing is enough. Hey, people are dying. No one is talking. And this atrocity continue growing every day. Properties are taken by force. And no one seems to be talking. It heightens someone rise up and fight. In a fatherland, we're living like a slave. Chiamaka, what is it? Mama, do you know what the time is? And you are still sitting here thinking God knows what. Mama, I'm confused. Confused? About what? Mama, I'm confused between right and wrong. I have seen too many things go wrong. Wrongs that were not worth it. But in my silence, they have escalated to a point of no return. And now, there's a chance to give right to Rome. Mama, what difference does it make? I mean, a thousand and one things have gone wrong. So what's the point of writing just one wrong? Chiamaka. Mama. Just because a nine out of a dozen of eggs is rotten and bad doesn't mean all of them are. I have told you this repeatedly. So what if you have seen, heard and supported wrongs? The little effort you put on your own part, no matter how insignificant, Correcting those wrongs is what counts. Hmm. You really think so, Mama? Yes. Whatever you do, I trust you will take the right decision, my daughter. Thank you so much, Mama. You're welcome. This means a lot to me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now, it's time for us to sleep. Let's go in there. And have a rest there. It's late already. Okay. Alright. Thank you. I am a sopodo chifuti. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. This man is leading the community. Yes, sir. Thank you. I will go. Sir. Is there anything the matter with you? Hmm, sir. Amaga, I've been observing you for days now. You have not been your normal self. It is so clear that something is eating you up. And um as somebody who is walking very close to me, your heady state of mind is of utmost concern to me. Sir, it's not a sir. You have been behaving abnormal for days now and you are telling me it is nothing? Sir, trust me, it's nothing. It's just a little, you know, family problem that um, I'm handling. It's nothing, sir. <laughs> well, if you say so, but I need you to understand something. You are my personal assistant. You work here with me every day. Try as much as possible to solve whatever the problem you are having, because I wouldn't want anything that will affect your efficiency. Here. Certainly, sir. 
If you talk, you go die. If you challenge him, you go die. I evil has taken over our kingdom. I am. I am. I am. I am. finally decides to make a grand entry. Excuse me. No, you excuse me. What exactly are you doing in my man's house this early? What? Oh, I get it. You know they say early morning sex is the best. In fact, the most amazing. Now I ask, is that what you two have been doing? Why do I have this no sitting feeling that you were not properly raised? I mean, why insulting me when you don't even know me? Will you shut up? You are going down with my man and you have the nerve to insult me. Listen, I don't know what is going on between you and Hillary, but you have got all of this wrong. I'm just here to deliver a message, very important, and trust me. Please, just call it for me. I promise I will not spend more than two minutes here. What do you take me for? Stupid? You should be ashamed of yourself. Is this how you throw yourself to any man that comes around you? Uh, okay, that's enough. That's... Um, no. I'll take it from here. No, you can go upstairs. It's fine. What? Are you dismissing me because of, because of this thing? Evelyn. Don't push it. Upstairs. Uh, please sit. Um, I'm sorry for coming to your home. I didn't know that your woman would be this harsh to someone she doesn't even know. Oh, I'm very sorry for all of that. Uh, you, you didn't deserve any of those things she said to you. I'm sorry. Mm. It's okay. I'm not surprised that you're having issues with her. I mean, you look like a player. Um, anyways. I'm here to tell you that I have thought about what you said. Oh, you have? And, um... <clears throat> I will do what you want me to do. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Thank you! Oh, <laughs> It is indeed going to be a very beautiful day. Thank you. Well, I don't know about that, but... I just know that I will do whatever you say I should do. I will. Thank you. Uh, what changed your mind, if I may ask? Would the revenge of my late father suffice? <laughs> ah! How long I have waited for a day like this, eh? Huh? I'm excited. It is good to know that a woman of my land, a woman of Umelabo, has decided to step up to the plate. Thank you. I, but I give you my word here and now that justice will be served. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Thank you for sowing the seed in me. Revenge is the only meal that tastes absolutely amazing when served cold. I'm ready. And when I am ready, I am ready. 
You're welcome. <laughs> Can you start talking? Start talking about what? Your village girlfriend came here to give you one for the morning. She ran into me and decides to go back. You feel it's not necessary for you to explain to me what is going on? You're pushing me. Okay. Please. Don't make me lose it. Now I get it. I don't need a prophet to tell me what is going on. So, Your Highness, a team of engineers and surveyors have already been to the site for survey. And being that this project would affect a bigger part of this kingdom, so we've come here to reach a common ground. And I hope you indulge us. Ah, <laughs> what can I say? The government is working for the good of everyone, my kingdom and otherwise. I am particularly happy that the governor has finally given heed to the cries of the people of Omelabo Kingdom. Exactly, Your Highness, and uh, I promise that this won't be the last project the government will work on this community. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. It's wonderful. Nice to hear. It will also interest you to know, Your Highness, that we've already sent a team of valuers to the site to carry out compensation valuations because um, we wouldn't want to overpay and underpay any victim this project would affect. And I suggest you do same. Two good heads are better than one, you know. Yeah. Wow. Yes. There's no problem about that, gentlemen. I'll have that arranged. And I want to say that I am happy that you'll find time to be here personally instead of walking over roads. We wouldn't do that, Your, Your Highness. That is highly inappropriate. Besides, much punishment awaits you if caught in such dishonesty. That is so good, you know. Thank you, Your Highness. We have to be on our way now. And we'll keep in touch. Very well then. I'll get back to you. I have left nothing out in what they presented. So I ask you, what do you think about their offer? Do you still need to ask us? Eh? Of course, it's a good deal. A brilliant one at that. I think it was useless seeking for our opinion. You should have gone ahead and signed the papers. That's my opinion. Can you imagine? Imagine that. It's your daily. If you do not have anything to say, I suggest you shut up yes. and keep your stupid opinion to yourself. Yes. What did you just say? I said shut up. I can say it again. You? You asked me to shut up. I me? I said it. He gave you a very good advice. If you don't have anything to say, you are not making sense. At just all. shut up. How dare you? How dare you? You? Me? Shut up? Are you, are you crazy? I ask you, are you crazy? How could you say something like that? You are supposed to be making things easy here and not compounding it. After all, it's people's land we are talking about here. It's not just a personal land. How could you possibly advise the king to do such human thing without consulting the affected individuals? Is it wise? Well, we are talking about huge development here. A development that will transform our community for good. Transformation. Good transformation. Uh, really? So the people's right and livelihood oh, should go. I think that you don't have conscience anymore. You don't care what happens to those poor souls living in that side of the kingdom. No, my no feeling. Your Majesty, this is not right. Your Majesty, it is not just right. Ichi here is right. No matter how good a deal it is, people's permission are needed. Exactly. What, of what point does it make? The government could easily lay claims to the land, 
if they so wish. Mind you, the constitution is in place. Every land belongs to the government. Iche, let me enlighten you. That draconian provision of the law has been challenged. And a judge outlawed it. That is why they came to the king. So when you are talking, say what you know. Oh, you are definitely the solution. The king does not need to seek anybody's opinion to do what is good for our community. Of course he does not need to do that. You go ahead and take this decision. Do it, it's for the good of our community. That's my opinion, Onyeze. Ichi Odili, shut up before I slap you in front of the king. I support. You? Slap I said me? shut your trap. Onyeze, did you hear that? Look at this small boy. I, I said this, I will slap when you. When did you become an Ichi? Enough. 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 Silence, all of you. Slap. I said enough, all of you. Enough. It is obvious this body is divided. I will make broader consultations and I will get back to all of you. And as far as I am concerned, this meeting is over. Just like that, I have spoken. I cannot believe the nerves of the man. How could he possibly think like an idiot? Are you asking? The man is an idiot and he has always been. And a coward too. Of course. I don't understand how the man could never see something wrong with anything. Of course. Because he has no land there. A healthy man does not know what a man with hyena is suffering. He doesn't care. <laughs> but Uche, if I may ask, does he take the king to go extra mile to seek advice in this matter? He should know that we are not against the government to own a project here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's not that we could stop them even if we wanted to. We don't have such power. Oh. We don't. All I'm saying is that he should do the right thing and get the affected individual informed. And that's all. You, you, you have a point. That maybe, maybe he has not thought of it that way, but I will call him this night and tell him that please i'm sure he will inform them it's important it's very very there's no other thing to do in this yes. matter because that's there's nothing exactly we can do. do we don't have the power to fight government oh yes sir you don't need to ask me to know what i will say give the land to the government but that is after they must have paid what i want them to pay if they fail to pay and go into that land people will begin to die I mean, key people in the government house. As many of them that conspire to go into that land without paying compensation, they will begin to die. You know me, Onyeze. When it comes to land matters, I can go to the extreme. Saudi, I am seriously of the opinion that we discuss this matter with the concerned families. Because they are who? Why is it difficult for you to understand that we have already hijacked this kingdom? What we are doing now is recolonizing Omelabo. This town is ours. The, okay? the people will be so mad to hear you say this. Listen, that they are mad. Let them not hear it at all. That they are mad is of no concern to me. Let me tell you something. And by hard work, we are the owners of this land. What you are going to do is write to the government. Tell them we are demanding 2 billion naira compensation for that land. Once they pay, we are going to settle down and monitor the body chemistry of the people to know whether they will misbehave. If they behave like gentlemen, then we give them something. But if they behave stupid, they will not get anything at all. And nothing will happen. Honestly, I don't think I should be considering this offer. After all, I have little or no right over those lands. The people concerned are the ones that will suffer this consequence gravely. Onyeze. You always forget you are the king. You have to behave like the king. I know you are, you are doing this thing because you are worried. But you don't have to be worried. 
you have me, the one man riot squad of Omelabo. Be very fast before government will change their mind and take this project to Yuri Wole Kingdom. When that happens, these same people that you are defending now, you are, you, you, are, you, you are protecting, they will be the same people that will dethrone you. Is your comment? Why is he forcing me to dethrone him before the time I set originally? Why is he doing this? Hello, Chief Sakuti, my name. Miracle. Good evening, sir. What are you doing here? What else? I came to see you, of course. Hmm. So where have you been? It was only yesterday that I was asking Amaka about you. Just yesterday. Yes, she told me. She told me how you've been stressed out lately and I felt really bad. I feel I should come and keep you company. Besides, I've missed you so much. <laughs> I'm beginning to imagine if I still have a place in your heart. Come on, Miracle. Why will you say a thing like that? You know it yourself that you have a place in my heart. I was the one that woke up yesterday and was asking about you. The mere fact that I was asking about you should tell you something. You know what that means, of course. It's okay. You don't need to explain. I've seen it in your eyes. <laughs> um, I've come to make it up to you. I will be with you the whole day. I hope you don't mind. Why should I mind? <laughs> What are those things that have made you stressed out lately? My dear, kingdom politics, men's wahala, trouble everywhere. It, it has nothing to do with you, my dear. Just calm down. It's just politics, and we are used to it. <laughs> no, I don't like it. like this. You know what? I can feel the surprise. You don't need to be saying it and uh, trying to educate me because I'm already seeing the surprise written everywhere. So what I think we are going to do is to go upstairs and then uh, let me see you unleash this dragon that you have brought. <laughs> After all, every single thing is mine, are they not? Of course they are yours. <laughs> Get your bag, let's be going up there. Just be going up there. Think, uh, let me take you to my main room. My main room is Sublime and everything falling apart. We are living in fear for a long time. For it's high time we stand and face a problem. We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say, No fear, no fear, no fear, no fear. We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say. Properties are taken by force And no one seems to be talking It's high time someone rise up and fight In the fatherland We are living like a slave In the fatherland It's time to take back our right We've been taught to shut the mouth for a long time We've been acting so blind And everything falling apart we are living in fear for a long time For it's high time we stand and face a problem We need to rise up Someone need to stand up and say No fears and no fears and no fears and no fears We need to rise up Someone need to stand up and say No fears and no fears and no fears and People are dying, no one is talking, and this atrocity continues growing every day. Properties are taken by force, and no one seems to be talking. My fellow youths of Omelabo, 
There can only be one reason. Our king, the sovereign ruler of this great kingdom is helpless at a time like this. It is because he is not a man of himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hillary Bajaka. How dare you say such a thing about the king of this great kingdom? Have you been drinking? In a sable? I have not been drinking, but even a drunk man would agree that what I'm saying is the truth. That is a serious allegation. I mean, allegation, serious allegation. That can cost you your life. Exactly. I know that it's shit, but I'll continue to say it over and over again. For a very long time in this community, our king has not been our king. He has been nothing but a puppet who has been controlled to dance to the tune of someone else. Hey. If you don't agree with me, how else do you explain? That the king would take what belongs to the people of Omenabo, sell our lands and take compensation, and keeps the money to himself. I'm going to tell you why. A king standing right here, no matter how much he tries to do what is right by the people, he's been held back by his controller to do the bidding of his controller, which in this case is for him to deny the people of Omenabo what the right for the people. And that is why we are all gathered here today, agitating that we take back what belongs to us as a people. Yeah, Hillary, what audacity! Such impudence. I order you to watch your tongue. Hillary, I order you to watch your tongue and not say any other thing. Uh, this is our king. You should show, show some respect. Ichi, you cannot shut me up. Speaking my truth is my civic right. Okay? We have been blind for too long. We have been told to keep quiet for too long. But today, we the youth of Bumelabo, we say enough is enough. Yes. The chair, the king is standing right here. Let him speak for himself. Yes. Let him address the youth of Bumelabo. Yes. 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 Let him deny these allegations. Let him condemn these allegations if they are false. And I vow to you right here and now, on my father's grave, that I am going to serve whatever punishment meted out to me. Yes. Let the king speak. It is indeed. We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say, "Enough is enough. Enough is enough." We need. I shall go and get back to you in a while. Your, 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 your Majesty, just two minutes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what is going on? You better come. Why is he not addressing me? Why can't you just refute this baseless one side, one side for all? We need to come and talk. We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say, Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say, Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Hey. Customer, the MTN number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. Seeing you growing every day. Properties are taken by force. And no one seems to be talking. It's high to Customer, the MTN number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. No peace and no need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say. What in God's name is going on? Why did he choose today of all days to put off his phone? What am I going to tell the people? How do I start to address them? Does it mean Sir Oti has finally lured me into the wilderness and left me for the dead? Is this what betrayal is all about? Your Majesty. You, you, you look troubled. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm fine. 
I'm fine. Uh, the people are waiting for me out there for me to go and address them. I'm fine. That's exactly why I came here to call you. It's almost 30 minutes. Very well then. I, I think in that case, we don't need to keep them waiting any further. Let's go. Let us please. Hey. The Titan sun will rise up from five in the Fatherland. We're living like a slave in the Fatherland. It's time to take back our right. We've been taught to shut the mouth for a long time. We've been acting so blind and the freedom falling apart. We are living in fear for a long time. For it's high time we stand and face a problem. We need to rise up. Someone need to stand up and say, No fears and no fears and no fears and no fears. Igwe, Akin, say something. We are waiting for you to address us. You told us to wait. Am I right? Yes. Let the Igwe address us. Yes, address. Address us. Address us. Address us. Address us. Igwe. Address us. The youth of Omelabo. I wait. Your judgment on this matter. Igwe, you cannot ignore your people. You must address us. The allegations leveled against you. Very weighty, Igwe. You have to say something, Igwe. Address us. Oh, let me guess, Igwe. He did not pick up. Eh? And so now you are helpless on what to say, Igwe. Ah. Igwe, let me save you the mystery of wandering in agony. Sauti is not disposed to take your calls at a time like this, Igwe. You are on your own. You must address the youth of Omelabo. Oti, your man, I knew it, the way that man carries himself like a peacock. Oti, your man, I know he's up to something. Uh, uh, Igwe, uh, one cow for you. Uh, uh, Kendere, one goat for you. Now you have seen it now. You have seen it. And the friendship between him and Igwe, I know it's not ordinary. Have you seen it? It's here, your guess is not far from the truth. But how would we have known? When everyone in this community, including the king here, was blinded by Sauti's misguided honesty and benevolence, how would we have known that he is the masquerade behind the mask? So he's the brain behind everything, the mastermind of everything. Can you imagine that? Uti, your man. Your man. See you now, birds of the same feather. So, when you said, you mean you went behind our back and did all you did? Because Uti convinced you, he made you to do this. Hi. Ah, what sort of a man are you? Why can't you be a man enough to take decision on your own? On your own. Eh. Is your conscience dead or what? On your said. Why? Why? Hillary, I hope you are aware that this is a serious accusation. And I... And what, Onyeze? And what? Did you just stop? Yes, and what? And what? Oh, 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 what? what? Sorry, Onyeze, this may seem to be a challenge to you, but we need to know the truth. So far, Onyeze, you have failed. You will go in Anna. Yes. You have failed so miserably to address us, the youths. To give us the answer that we seek. You may say this as a serious accusation to you, but not to us. We have known this for a very long time. But we refuse to confront you or him on this matter. Why? Because 
until now, no one has had the courage to confront you. But you see this one? This last one is the very last. Enough of all this. We have had enough. And we have been silent enough. So no more. Yes. Yes. No more. No more that shit. <laughs> Who is that? Matthias now. Matthias. Matthias. Matthias, how are you? All is not well. Hmm? Uh, please, uh, where's Chief? What happened? Why are you looking for him? What happened to his phones? I've been calling all his lines, but they were off. I even called Amaka and she said she can't take any message from him. Oh God, because Amaka is sick. She called earlier when Chief's phones were connected. Why do you sound troubled? Is there anything in the problem? There's fire on the mountain, bros. Fire there the is mountain. fire on the mountain. I need to see Chief. Fire what? I'm sorry, I cannot allow that. What is the problem? Ah, meaning what? What is the issue? Do you think this is the time and place for you to be for you to be all that business? I said I want to see the chief. I want to see chief. You can't see chief. What is going on there? Yes, boss. Chief, there's trouble. There's trouble, chief. What are you talking about? Chief. Things have gone wrong. Totally wrong, Chief. Matthias, you are beating about the bush. Can you just go straight to the point and tell me what the problem is? Chief, you need to come to the palace right now. Why? I don't know what is going on, but the youth have gathered. Demanding some answers to, to, to questions I, I, I don't understand, Chief. There are allegations leveled against you. What? Allegations by who? Chief, I don't know. I don't know. In fact, they vowed not to live there without having the answers. You know what? I'll be right back. I am. 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 Has collapsed. Wounded people in our community cry to you with their problems and you do nothing because you have been pocketed. People come with their problems and the king chooses to do nothing because he has been pocketed by the brain behind the problems in this community. The elders in council are nothing. Saudi is the problem. This has gone on for too long so I decided to rise up but there comes a time in every man's life when you say enough is enough yes. to impunity, to treachery, to embezzlement, to wickedness, to bad leadership. And I decided to speak to my friends in government to see how we can help the people of Melabo. And we came up with a plan. It would interest you, my people, to know that your king here was approached by government officials to take your land from you. And he agreed. He asked for two billion naira to take your inheritance away from you. <laughs> they negotiated. And then he asked them to offer at least a billion. And the government officials agreed on the condition that they will pay the affected families directly. And your king here in connivance with Saudi to take less, to take a paltry sum of a hundred million. Cut you people out and keep the money to themselves. I have it on record, sir. Igwe, that you're going down. Mike and Ojo are my friends that work in government. And all this we have on record. Your time is up, Igwe. But today is Doomsday. Ah, yes. Enough! It's enough. Hey, yes! Enough. Enough. You bastard son of Mbajiaka. After everything I've done for you, I excluded you from the payment of development levy in this town. Gave you the license to operate freely without paying anything. And this is what I get? You 
stabbing me in the back? Like you have been stabbing our people in the back for years, yes. Saudi. What? Your time is up. Yes. I did not stab you in the back. What I have done to do is expose you to our people. Yes. What I have done is to remove the mask so that they can see the idiot, the evil man behind the mask. Enough is enough. Yes. Your time is up. Oh, yes. 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 Are you the one talking to me like oh, this? Oh yes, and there is more, just so you know. <laughs> the 50 million naira you think you got and are let for <laughs> is fictitious. It was all a setup created to pin you down. There is no money in that account, there will never be. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Stop milking the people. Stop sucking their Killer blood. In Bojeka. Yes. <laughs> If this turns out to be true, then you will not live to see the next day. I pray that you live to see tomorrow. For we, the youth of Abu will descend to you too. We've been acting so blind and the victim falling apart. We are living in fear for a long time. Now it's high time we stand and face a problem We need to rise up Someone need to stand up and say No fears and no fears and no fears and no fears We need to rise up Someone need to stand up and say No fears and no fears and no fears and no fears You made sure that my late father's only property was seized by you just because he borrowed money from you to see me through school. <laughs> As if that was not enough. When I graduated, what did you do? You held me captive to work for you as a PA in this village. And ever since, I have labored and toiled under your cruelty. And here you are, standing here to tell me that I owe you Really, Chief? <laughs> Chief. Chief, be grateful. <laughs> be thankful that no matter how hard I tried, I could not bring myself to poison your food. If not, by now you'll be rolling in your grave. Wait, wait, wait. You actually contemplated poisoning me? Amaka, are you the one talking or is there something speaking in you? I've been mean, talking through you. <laughs> Chief. What? Consider this a fair resignation. And you see those lands that you took from us? <laughs> I have taken them back. How is, how is that possible? Could you blow Maybe you should go to the land office and find out who owns them now. Goodbye. You are You are You are So this is how you want to play it. This is it. I have been keeping quiet about what I know. I have been trying so hard to take that secret to my grave. 
but this is what you do the very first opportunity you get you threw me under the bus and you think I will be quiet no you lie Zoshiaga. I am going to make you regret your decision to ever do a thing like that to a man like me my goodness, Nkiru, how could someone do something like this to you? How could a living do something like this to you? How? My sister, what can I say? I give God all the glory, at least I'm alive. Hey, you know, I have come to your house a few times since the accident. But your mother kept on telling me you were in the hospital. And she wouldn't tell me the name of the hospital so that I could at least come and see you. I was beginning to think she didn't want me to see you. <sighs> that is it, my sister. I asked her not to allow any of you to come, especially you. Not after what happened. I don't know how I will face you. Talk more of facing you guys to see me this kind of condition as that feeling pity or me. Ah, pity or no pity. Nkiru, you're my friend. You're a friend who is more like a sister to me. I was really worried about you. I know. I'm not judging you. You are not. Not one bit. You're not the only maiden in this kingdom to be a pound in that man's games. I was also a pound in his game, remember? But I had to quit. I kept on telling you to get out from that, but you wouldn't listen. See, I'm only happy you're back to your senses. Yes, after beating me in blue blood, now Kurum Jaja, at least I've learned my lesson. After involving myself in Chief Uti, that was the worst decision of my life. I can't imagine doing that again. See? That's all in the past now, <laughs> eh? Does your mother know about this? About that man's girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Kidnapping, beating me and putting me in this kind of condition? Go forbid! My mother will never know about this thing. In fact, if my mother should hear about this thing, she will die of heart attack. <sighs> and I can't imagine her passing through that kind of thing. Neka, please promise me you will never tell my mother, please. My lips are sealed up tight. Mm? She won't hear a word about it. But what about those girls? Are you not going to do anything to them? Are you going to let them walk away free like that? Eh? Wait, maybe you should tell Lamaka or Hilary Mbajaka. I am sure he'll be glad to bring those girls to justice. Just like he has done with Chifuti. Bam, 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 bam. No, 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 Neka, no, 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 please. I don't want to start involving unwarranted attention right now. As for those girls, as far as I'm serving a living God in Neka, the gods of our land will bring them to justice, one after the other. He said, he said, he said, he Give me this money, just give it to me. Let me go and buy you the drug. You cannot go there looking like this. It's so bad. No. At least you can accompany me right now. Okay, sure. Let's go. Sure, go. Nanda, nanda, tija maro. Ati nanda. As far as I am concerned, you are not making any sense at all. The Hillary I know cannot be messing around with a local village girl. Please spare me that, Simon. I know what I saw. He is so deep into that girl. And I am out. Don't tell me you're going to throw away a five-year-old relationship because of some unfounded allegations. Pick up his call and tell him you're sorry. You shut up. I am sorry for what? Listen, I have been managing Hillary all these years, hoping to find that's one thing. One thing that will make me stick with him. Is it the same Hillary? I mean, 
the same Hillary you once told me that is the best thing that ever happened in your entire life. Don't put words into my mouth, Gladys. I never said that to you. Why do I have this feeling that you found someone else? Because you're doing everything possible to get rid of Hillary. Well, thank goodness I already found someone. Now, and if you love this Hillary so much, to the extent that you have become his solicitor and advocate, go for him. As for me, girl, I am out. And I am out. When I do, I make sure you don't come crying back to me. I'm not a very happy man today. On the same day, we destroyed the stagnation in this kingdom. On that same day, my woman calls me to tell me that she's walking away from a five year relationship. And you do not see the hand of God in that? What are you talking about? Enlighten me. To be candid, I never liked Evelyn. I beg your pardon? What is your business with my relationship? Okay. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But you are also aware that your mother never liked her. Evelyn was just a mystic, bound to be made. Yes. And now that she has decided to walk away, all by herself. Good radiance, who cares? Go ahead and get married to another woman. What kind of useless advice is this? How can you advise me to let go of a five year relationship and marry her? Marry who, if I may ask you? Marry who, if I may ask you? Marry who? Hilary, marry a woman of Omela Yes. You have made indelible imprints in this kingdom. Maybe you haven't noticed. You have made a mark. And believe me, tomorrow you might turn out to become the king of this kingdom. You know, there you go again. With your crazy permutations, there you go again. I don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Evelyn is not from this kingdom. When it turns out that you are chosen to become the king of Omelabo, which I know will certainly happen, Nobody will hold it against you that you married a woman outside this kingdom. Neither would I hold it against you if you keep your wild permutations to yourself. I am not looking to be king of Omelabo. And even if the offer comes, let me let you know now, I will not consider it. Honestly, this is not the right mood we are supposed to be in. Okay? We should be celebrating your massive achievement. This shouldn't be our mood. Get something for me to drink. Yeah, hello. Um, please, can I speak with Evelyn? Oh, sorry, she's in the kitchen making me something to eat. Can you call back later, please? She's busy in the kitchen making you something to eat. Um, who are you, if I may ask? Okay, you can call me Ronald Obiora. It's me, Evelyn. Yes. Evelyn, do you see you now? Now I know why everyone around me does not like you. 
they have never loved you. They have never believed in what you and I had. Evelyn, are you talking to me? Oh, Ronald, you are so pathetic. You know what? Once you're done taking your noodles, you just leave. No, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. You told me you have nothing to hide from me. Oh, please, please. You know what? Now I know we have a lot of things to talk about. You have a lot of things to explain to me. I, I seriously, I don't get it. What is happening here? Okay, Chukwu, can I ask that you never bring this up with me? I'm going to deal with this. My way. Hilary, do you remember when our grandfathers died? Fourth of July, that's the date. But this document was signed on the first. Okay, but I don't know where you're going with this. Listen, Hilary. We must not leave this at this. We must get to the root of this. Something tells me that this document will lead us to what we have been looking for. Okay, so how do we go about it? Good. I know a place where we can find help. Not tell anyone about this. Okay. Okay? You should keep this between just you and I. Huh? I understand. But we must get to the root of this. We must. He who closes ears to the views of others shows the little confidence in his integrity of his own view. I know who sent you. He has told you everything you need to know about me. Now let me ask you, Hilary Mbajiaka, are you finally ready to know how it happened and what happened? Oh yes, the great one of Aguleri. I want to know and that is why I have come to you. If you are giving your all to someone and it's not enough, then you are giving the wrong person. Very true. <laughs> Mbajaka was a good man who gave a hundred thousand pounds to a brother, Okeke Abana Boigu. He killed the man four days after he gave him the money. Four days. First and fourth. Why did he kill him? Hmm. Set of few questions. Cannot determine the ability and talents of human. But if you have given your best, then you have already passed. Mbajaka, after lending him the money, he solicited to be a part of the business. But Okeke was not comfortable with that because he hated to have a competitor. He then promised to look into it, but then he had other plans. He killed a man as the man was gathering some money from other sources 
for the same business. Um, great one. Is there a way we can prove this? The business agreement was signed before the priest of Aligum. The agreement was sealed with their blood and now the blood is calling for justice. And that is why it came up now. And men who drank waters of Omelabo Kingdom must decide on what to do now. Listen, it's not like I had anything to do with Saudi. I only worked for him, and when I realized that he didn't deserve someone like me, I quitted the job. So, do anything that you want to do to take revenge. It has nothing to do with me. I found out eventually that he lied against my own late husband. He fabricated that story simply because he wants to take away my land. He must vomit that land that he sold. Oh God, I want to see her. Hmm. Hey! I think you should just go ahead and take your revenge on him. If he had stolen something from you, then you should take it back. Like I said, it has nothing to do with me. So what do you want? Uti, I got my I got my mum, my mum, my mum, my mum. Oh, Hey! You really have some nerves to show your face around me after the stunt you pulled the other time? You like the bajaka? Do you have an idea what you have done to me? I better leave this compact down because I am aware some angry youths are out there waiting for me to come out so they will do something to me. All because of what you did. And you have the guts to show your face? What do you expect? What do you expect, Mr. Keke? You hurt the people. You deserve everything you're going through right now. You have not just the people, but this great community in its entirety. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will not get away with this. I am going to make you pay. I will hit you so hard. And, and it's a promise. I know. I'm very prepared for it. But before you do that, go through that document thoroughly. I fulfill all the promises spelled out before you go around again gloating and wanting to be the bigger man. Go through that. How did you get this document? I mean, how did you lay your hands on this? Wait a minute. Have you been sneaking around since you were here? Do you remember what I told you about the animal? that you feel that you have tamed. An architect should be a gentle man. Why are you parading yourself as an architect and always you speak like a cow? Why? That cloak of gentility, Mr. KK, may be the reason you keep pushing me to the wall. But I advise you today, retrace your steps so that the animal that you feel you have tamed does not return to tear you apart. Well, if only you can do less of talking like a loser that you are. And give me just five minutes to talk. Maybe I will cut you a deal that will change your life forever. I'm not interested in a crooked business deal from a crooked businessman. This man, leave me alone. Well, a businessman should listen to all business opinions, even those coming from the enemy and then try as much as possible to make the best of them. That is how a businessman should behave, and I wonder, why are you not behaving like a businessman? Didn't your father teach you that much? And why do you keep leeching on the innocent and the poor, since you're such a great businessman? 
Mr. Okeke, I'm not interested in your proposal. Give it to someone else. <laughs> but my prayer is that one day the people of Omalabo will see you for who you truly are. Nemesis will catch up with you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it that Maka that did this to me? Please stop being melodramatic, Mr. KK. Leave the innocent lady out of your woes. The animal that you feel, that you tamed, has torn you apart. You have two months. Two months for KK to pay Majaka what he owes him. Else I assure you there'll be war. And it is going to be fight to finish. Amaka, now I know why you left. <laughs> Can you handle what is coming to you? Can you? That agreement was sealed with blood before the priest of Aligum, the dreaded deity of Omelabo people. Did he know? If he does, how did he get to know? I will be ruined if that young man is aware of what happened. How did he get to the root of this? Do you know the implication of what you did? You risk your life in the den of an evil man. You know, my love, but someone needed to take that risk for the redemption of our land. Why should you volunteer to be the one, my love? See, do you know what would have happened if that man had found that you came to knock him out? My love, you weighed all options. Both Amaka and Hilary assured me that once he swallows the substance, I will definitely sleep up. And that was exactly what happened. Please, do not ever take this level of risk again. Okay? I promise, my love. It will never happen again. <laughs> Thank you for not being like that. That man is dangerous. I know him very well. Please. Do not allow that nonsense to repeat again. Okay? You don't know how much I love you. You are my love. You are my life. My joy. The only thing that gives me happiness. I will stand by you. Fight for you and protect you. Come rain, come shine. As I was this is why I don't like to associate with men. Like you. I am a businessman. I discuss with men who write proposals and defend their proposals. As I say, I don't have anything to do with your kind of man. I don't know what I do here. Uti Okeke, I don't have any business with you because as far as I'm concerned, you have no business. You have no business. In one of them, Mofosa can do thinking well. Is that supposed to be a kind of insult? You are standing with a businessman in his house and you are telling him he has no business. What's your problem? Uti Okeke, an allegation, a complaint was laid against you in the sacred altar of Okemawaligum, the great deity of Umelabo, and you must appear before the gods to defend yourself. A complaint, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Which complaint? Men may pretend not to know the truth. Or may know the truth and may want to conceal the truth. But that is just for some time. When the time comes, the truth will unveil itself. And the documents that he hid away from the eyes of men for a very long time has finally come to surface. So, Uti, the time has come for Oke okay, the first. To pay the debt he owes to Mbajaka the first. 
You know what? I don't know what you're talking about. Put your girl, girl. You know what I am saying because he followed his footsteps. He did not just bite the hands that fed him, but he killed the owner of the hand. And in line with that agreement, you must pay. You must pay in accordance with the laws of the gods. That which was signed, sealed, and delivered under the great oath of Haligum. Uti Okeke, no matter how smart you think you can be, you cannot outsmart the gods because the gods were there before you. The gods were there before you. Haligum. Let this be the very last time you will ever come to my house to speak this nonsense. I am letting you go today because of a reason personal to me. Try this one more time, as I always say, and you are a dead man. I am a support I am. I am. Do you think he will pay? He has no choice. He will. Of course he does. He can choose not to pay. If he chooses not to, uh, he will not only lose his life, but also lose everything to Aligo. And I'm not sure he wants that to happen to him, so he will comply. You know, I have a weird feeling about this. I feel like something is about to happen. Something very bad. I feel like he's going to do something very stupid. Can we stop focusing on this man and focus on us? Us? What do you mean by us? There is no us. There might be, you just have not noticed. No. Maybe you slapped me back to my senses the day you slapped me. Something in me came to life. They don't make any sense. This doesn't make sense to me. I mean, you have your woman. I know her. And I know how ferocious she can be. So what is this about? She already called it off with me and she's moved on. She has herself another man now. I want to move on too. I don't want to pine over her forever. I need to leave. I need to love. And you're the one on my mind always. Please, can I ask you for a favor? Okay. You may not have noticed, but if you search deep down your heart, you would agree that that we connect. And that is why you agreed to risk your life and assist me on this quest. Please, I'm asking that you and I build on that connection so that you and I can have a future together. I really want you. Please. Don't go. Stay with me. To have a future together. Excuse me. What exactly are you doing in my man's house this early? 
What? Oh, I get it. You know they say early morning sex is the best. In fact, the most amazing. Now I ask, is that what you two have been doing? She already called it off with me and she's moved on. She has herself another man now. I want to move on too. I don't want to pine over her forever. I need to leave. I need to love. And you're the one on my mind always. Problem is this. What is the problem with you, my dear? Mama, I'm in a dilemma. I have never been so confused in my life before. What kind of dilemma are you talking about? I am your mother. I mean, have a way around it. Can you share it with me? So this is it. The very first opportunity you have, you threw me out as somebody who is a stranger to you. Who the hell do you think you are, Oshere? I am the king of Omelabo kingdom and you know it. And I made you the king. You will do well to always remember that and acknowledge that. Uti Okeke, I want you to lower your voice and accord me with the respect that I deserve as the king of this land. Otherwise, I will permanently ban you from my presence. Hey. Always know that you do not have the monopoly of nuisance. Know that. Is that parable for me? It is for you. Yeah, no, but because obviously you have found your voice. Now you have decided to break free from my cocoon without my permission. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> so you are now exercising the powers of the king and of all people. You have decided to start with Omar Sa of Obodasa. Let me tell you something, Oshaga. The devil will romance you in broad daylight. Will you bet me on that? <laughs> I want to advise you to be very careful with your choice of words. Otherwise, you will not like what you will see. You will not do anything. And before you put the last nail on your coffin, are you aware that some fools are now trying to involve their own unborn generations? Is something that has got absolutely nothing to do with them. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, apparently, my grandfather borrowed some money from Mbojaka the first, and now I am required to pay. But I don't see how that is my business. That is your business because you are going to fire the priest of Aligum deity and replace him with another person immediately. Whoever told you that the king has the power, the right to hire and fire a chief priest of his land? Who told you that? Listen to me. You may be the king. But I am your king, and you will do exactly as I say. You are going to fire the priest of Aligum and replace him with somebody else immediately. Think about it, and do it before I come for you. But it's very clear that you are insane.
I mean, what is the meaning of this nonsense? You came to see a man and you met his absence and you didn't leave. Why must you decide to wait? An agreement signed and sealed under the great order of Aligo must be fulfilled. Time has come for you to pay the debt your family is owing. Else, be prepared to face the wrath of the gods. You face the consequences. Which gods are you talking about? Which consequences? You know, what else are you planning to do to me that will be bigger than what that sort of a maggot has already done to me? What else do you think you can do? What? Oh, to do yourself some good. Help yourself. I pay in the debt you owe. <laughs> pay the debt you owe. Would you pay the debt you owe? Clouds of debt are gathered. And I can tell you authoritatively that the so called clouds of debt are, are gathering for you. Who do you think you are? Do you know the caliber of man you are standing before? How dare you come into my compound to tell me about debt? And you will eventually pray for death and death will not come. You, with your cake, will pray for death and death will never, never come your way. So raise it now that you have the time. I know why I'm feeling you. Just something I want to understand. Is it that you're afraid of this man or what? No, sir. I don't know. Does he be afraid of this man or what? Why would you let him defend my compound? Sir, I do not know when he came. Are you for real? Yes, sir. Go, go, go. Listen, I will be needing your services. Tonight. Woman, don't tell me you followed me to this place. I am following you about was one. Because the police have refused to do anything. Uti Okeke has perfected the purpose of the land. Wise one, you are the mouthpiece of the gods. And in a situation such as this, you are in the position to tell the gods that a man of a Melabo kingdom is using his power and his connections to intimidate a widow of the land. I will plead with you to go home and allow the gods to conclude what they have started. The gods have their ways and their ways are not the ways of men. Allow them to move at their own pace for their time. Their own time is the best time. Why are you daring me? Why? I have told you to stop calling my number. Why are you still calling me? I should stop calling you when you have not done what I asked you to do? Why are you provoking me? Do you want me to come for you or something? What exactly do you want me to do? Owefi Opielue is the one that is still parading himself as the chief priest of Omelabo Kingdom. The same man I asked you to fire and replace why have you not done that? Now listen to me, you disgruntled element of my land. Let this be the last time you will ever call my number and talk to me with such blatant disrespect. The next time you try it again, I swear by the gods of our land, I will skin you alive. What? 
Hey! This is the climax of it. This man has single-handedly made the king of Omenabo has grown wings. Now, he is cutting calls on me. Avuzianka, I am Madabo. I'll definitely buy the bone straight hair for you. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I like these two eyes. Oh, you're a naughty man. <laughs> Nothing is my name. <laughs> Hello. Zion, why have you not given me any feedback on the task I gave you? I've done a lot of things for you. But why will you ask me to kiss such a promising woman? You said you loved her. And what has that got to do with anything? The same animal I regarded as a decent babe, almost as a family member, Finally betrayed me and joined forces with my enemies. What are you saying? And you feel sending me to kill her will solve the problem? Have you made any effort to know why she did what she did? And why should I be making any effort to know why she did what she did? Listen to me, Zion. Anybody who has betrayed me has no right whatsoever to leave. That innocent girl did not betray you, sir. She was compared by forces mightier than her to do what she did. Please, sir, leave that babe. Yeah, you yeah, keep your useless sir to yourself because you are very useless. How can you be so useless and you are calling me sir? I don't understand what that means. I told you to go and kill Amaka and you failed. And now, the same idiot who poisoned her nipples and they exposed them for me to suckle and I did and I just got knocked out. That is the same person you ask. I don't know whether you are sitting or standing, calling it innocent. What is, what, what is the problem with you, Zion? Are you mad or something? She's actually here with me. We are getting married. Would you like to say hi to her? I didn't hear you clearly. What did you say? You are getting married to who? We? Yes, you heard him right. When a hotel in Pura calls. Just like he told you, you are getting married soon. Huh? The conspiracy. The conspiracy against me is indeed so massive. Who will I trust? Who? You shouldn't have told him anything. That man, as you know, is evil. And he can go to any length just to harm us. A man who is already up against the central deity of his land is already crippled. He failed in his quest to dent my spirit with human blood. He will go under. He will go under alone. Elders of Omelabo Kingdom. Yes, Your Highness. Your Highness. I called you here today to tender my unreserved apology to you and to the entire kingdom of Omelabo. I want to apologize for the kind of man I have become. I want to apologize for being a weak king instead of a strong one. I apologize for agreeing to be a pawn in Uti's king. I want to apologize for sitting and watching while things go wrong, when I could have done something to stop them. I've called you here to say I am very sorry for everything that has happened. And I want to make a promise that I will never allow this error ever again. For the rest of my reign, 
as the king of Omelabo kingdom. I know very well that I have failed you. I have disappointed you, my elders. All I ask for is, give me one chance so that I could right my wrongs. I beg you. Your Highness, a lot of things have already gone wrong. Yes, sir. I know. And how can you possibly fix all of them? I may not be able to fix all of them. But I can promise you that from today, I'll be running a very transparent government where everybody in Omelabo will be involved one way or the other in the affairs of the kingdom. Onyeze, what exactly did that evil man hold over your head that made you <sighs> do all these things that you did? I can say too much of respect. I hold him in high esteem. In fact, at the beginning of my reign as a king in this kingdom, I turned to him for advice on a daily basis. It continued to a point that I, I couldn't differentiate from the good advice he was giving me and the wrong ones. It continued like that to a point that I completely lost myself in him. And I became a shadow of myself. It was at that point that he took over my life. I can say that he cast a spell on me. A spell? A spell on the king of this great community? That's impossible. And I wouldn't want you to say that again. Well, um, elders of our kingdom, we are not here to apportion blame. Mm. I have come here to apologize. Like I said, I am very sorry. And never again, on no condition, would I allow that to happen again. Once again, I am very sorry. You do not need to apologize to us, Onyeze. We all are victims of his games. Me, I believed so much in him, I did everything he wanted me to do. But here I am. Even you, my fellow Iches, you knew his true colors, but you never had the courage to confront him in the face. But all that is in the past now. This is a new era. So we give you our loyalty and we're ready to work with you. Thank you very much for your understanding. Yes, I greet you all. Yeah, Thank, you. Too. Thank you. Thank you. As a man who has made several attempts to terminate my life, I'm thinking it is the right time for you to do or say whatever you think you can, man, that we are here. But wait for you, you should have known that I came in peace. I have come face to face with the vanity of bravado. I am here with you, sitting gently and humbly, because I want to solve this problem before Ali Gum will rise against me. Mm. Oh, and if I may ask, how do you hope to solve this problem before Ali Gum will rise against you? In all honesty, that young man does not need this money. He is simply doing all these things to bring me down in this kingdom. And as the chief priest of Aligum, as a man who sits in the position of authority, I am pleading with you, do not play into their hands. Uti, you have not answered my question. You have not? Okay. Obwefi, I am going to give you one million naira. Me put your cash. Private transfer, cash. I want you to neutralize this process completely. Just tell them that Aligum is no longer interested in this case. If you do this, this matter will die a natural death. Uti Okeke. There are so many ways to solve a problem. This particular one, there are several, in fact, better ways of solving this problem. 
always mankao the best. And the better way to solve this problem is for you to go to that young man and apologize. Ah. Apologize to that young man and he will forget everything. Uh, uh, the matter will just uh, uh, end. Uh, uh, we will never, never. I am going to be the king of Omelabon. And uh, you know it yourself that it is going to be an abomination for it to be reported that the king of Omelabo has one time apologized to any of his subjects. Are they me, man? In your own thinking, you are going to be the next king of Omelabo. Mm -mm, I am already the king. Well, you are not know. yet the king, Uti. Yes. Now, listen. The one who is already the king did apologize and was forgiven by the gods. So, and if he, if he can apologize and forgiven by the gods, you can equally apologize. Uh, and the matter will end. Uh, please, uh, it's very simple. You, sh you stop insulting me by putting me in the same category with that idiot. We are not the same thing. He can always apologize. In fact, he apologizes anyhow. Because he is nothing. I am different. I am Saudi. I cannot apologize. You know what? I will make it three million. Cash. Just do this thing for me. Uti, <laughs> okay, okay. Come on, the eligible for that choose a bullet one man alone. There is no amount of money that you can give. Even if you like, give me the whole money in Nomala Kingdom. I cannot do that which you seek. It is not possible. Go to this young man, apologize, and this matter ends once and for all. Very simple. And then it will go down in history. That he, as the son of Mbajiaka, has actually broken my hand as Mbajiaka that is bearing as a name. I don't mean him now. I will make it five million. Cash. Do this thing for me. I can't go to go to the house. I can't go to the house. Money and the house. Money. There's no amount of money that can solve this other than what I've told you to do. Because money is different, culture is different. Seriously, Evelyn. Why are you getting all worked up? Why are you getting angry with this guy? You ended the relationship. You called it off yourself. That was because I was angry. And Martha, if you were in my shoes, you would do the same. No way. There is no way I would do something like that. Gosh! God, that guy loves you. Hilary loves you. We all know that. And what did you do? You ended the relationship based on an unfounded allegation. And he moved on. He moved on so fast. Do you even know who he is getting married to? The same low life who ruined our relationship. He was already dating this girl. He was just looking for an opportunity for me to make a mistake or misbehave so that he would move on and marry this girl. Like, seriously, can you listen to yourself speak? Can you hear yourself at all? You sound so pathetic. Come on! I spoke to Hillary. He told me everything. Nothing was going on between that lady and Hillary when you were busy accusing him of cheating on you. Gosh! You just, you're the one that gave them the space to get together. And what happened? He moved on. And to be honest with you, I believe every single thing Hillary told me. Martha. Yes? Are you saying you believe Hillary and not me? Yes. How will I believe you when I know you are talking nonsense? You ended your relationship just like that. And, and this Ronald guy you think will replace Hillary in a blink of an eye? Where is he? Seriously, guy, you don't have anybody to blame but yourself. Nobody. You blame everything on yourself. I should have known that I had no friends. Now I want you to get your silly ass off that seat 
and leave, never to return. Evelyn, you are asking me to leave your house. And what part of it don't you understand? <laughs> oh my goodness. Fine. Suit yourself. I pity that man that will end up with a human being like you. And <laughs> I'm so happy for Hillary because you don't deserve him. Excuse me. I swear to God, I will come for every one of you that has betrayed me. It's a promise. I know why you invited me here. And I know why you're willing to pay the fee I demanded. All the men you believed you caged have broken from your grips. And now you want them dead simultaneously. Exactly. Beautiful win face. Starting from the chief priest to the king. And then that useless son of a Mubajiaka. I want three of them dead. Listen, I am that mouth who is used to eating the best of things. It is going to amount to a huge sacrilege that suddenly I am eating leftovers. It is not going to happen. And there is only one way to ensure that unleash your power and kill the three men I have mentioned already. What you seek is very possible. <laughs> But there's a question begging for an answer. What question? Can you dare the chief priest? Pick sand from his compound and bring him to me? That's all. <laughs> I will go there now and bring sand. If you want, I can dig up a shovel. Go to the chief priest. I can do that. He is the one covering for others in the metaphysical space. Really? His strength is so strong that nothing can ever happen without him. <laughs> Get me the sand. And I will neutralize him. <laughs> Terminating others will be very easy. Beautiful win face. I had always done it that I can't trust you. Listen to me. What you demanded is just like demanding nothing. Wait for me here, let me just go and get the sand. I'm in second case. Look into the arena of solutions. I can see that you can. Take care of these things yourself. By apologizing to these men. They will forgive you and you will become even more great. Hey, never! How can you ask me to go and apologize to refrafs? Listen, that useless son of Mbajiaka is planning to insult me by getting married to my secretary. How is that going to be possible? They will gather tomorrow for the marriage ceremony. Three of them will gather there. I want you to kill them tomorrow as they are gathered there. And then I am going to declare myself the king of Omela Buckingham. <laughs> are you not a man? Is there anything that can be done to a man that has already made up his mind? <laughs> I'll be waiting for you here. It's okay. Just you will hold on for me. Let me go get the sun. You can sit down. Hey, Evelyn. I'm okay. Um, hope you're keeping well. Oh, well, this is to let you know that my... my marriage is tomorrow. Yes, uh, that you're invited if you want to come. You are so classless, Hillary. Truth be told, I regret all the years we've spent together. Look at you. You are getting married to that, that thing, that low life, and you're so happy about that. I am beyond happy actually, I'm fulfilled. Because I'm with a proper woman. 
You know, this is what I have to say to you, evening. Dig deep. Dig deep within yourself and go back to the woman that you used to be. And also advise ladies like you, you know, your likes. To become proper women. To work on their attitude. Get their behavior right. Cross their T's and dot their I's. Become women of virtue so that someday, at some time, you'll find a man who would hold on to you like I'm holding on to this beautiful woman and call you his own. Save that prayer for yourself. I don't need it. Now listen and listen very carefully. Don't you ever, ever in this life call my number again. Do you understand me? Rubbish. Fool. <laughs> she got it. She cut the line. <laughs> I, I, I just I just felt I had to do that. I'm sorry. You know, five whole years, five whole years, and I didn't even see through her. I didn't see her for who she truly is. Mm. Scary, huh? Eh? Well, I, I think that things happen for a reason. Both of you were never meant to be. You're right. Because you and I are meant to be. You're the one for me. You're the one that I love. Wholeheartedly. Thank you, babe. You are God's sent to me. You're the answer to my prayer. The answer to my broken heart. And I promise you now and forever that I will love you. Say that one more time, baby. <laughs> one more time, baby. I will love you forever. <laughs> Thank you. Come here. <laughs> mm? Mm. You know what? I think we should get a room right now. Mm. Yeah, like right now. No, after the wedding. You sure? After the you wedding. You don't want to get a room. After the Come wedding. On, let's try. <laughs> I think we should get a room. <laughs> Silly. No, we no. should get a damn. After, after tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something in you has been telling you that you have crippled me. You are a fool to think that. You see, all of you, all of you that have conspired against me in this kingdom, <laughs> I am going to kill all of you. And that I am going to declare myself the king of this kingdom. Not only that, I will eventually appoint a chief priest who will mind his business. But I will advise you as a brother. You cannot hold the sand of my labor to speak those words. You dare not. Because if you do, you will not live to see what you decree. <laughs> I am not just going to pick the sand of Melabo to say that. I am going to pick sand from your compound. You know what? To prove to you that you are nothing. And most importantly, that your end has come. She told you to go into the compound of the chief priest of Pakistan. And you did. But little did you know that you were gradually involving yourself into the controversial issues concerning the gods, the deity of Malabo. And okay, Chuku, there is no businessman in his right frame of mind who would pass up a beautiful business opportunity. Because one man somewhere 
He said to be word. Come on now. Huh? Business in itself is word. Okay, Chiku. A man survive in the jungle. And the jungle, men live by just one rule. One rule. The fittest survives. He saw it clearly. It's indeed the survival of the fittest. He has completely made his point. Hmm. What manner of man is he? This is unbelievable. What a man. What a man. What a man. <laughs> My friend, you didn't have to start talking to me, so. Oh, not at all. <laughs> I was only pouring in communes on my friend, who against all odds achieved the singular feat of saving the people of Melabo from the chokehold grip of her oppressors. And to the latest couple in town, I say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for the kind words. Uh, all of that was achieved because you helped me, you supported. Oh. Uh, thanks for everybody that joined in this fight You're for total liberation. You're Thank you very much. <laughs> Honey, yes. you know how Ukechiko can be with words. If we stay here and talk uh, to him all day, <laughs> we'll be late for Thanksgiving. I know, baby, but I thought I might as well let you know that I am committed to making you happy for the rest of my life. You're indeed my blessing. You're my gift. You're my compensation in every way. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Hmm? I love you. I love you too. Madiba Noli TV.